RS, if you think last stream's gambling was crazy, um, just wait till we get to the desert. We're gonna have to play a whole lot of Calico Jack, I tell you what, in order to get everything that we need there. Which is like one thing, but it's ex it's an expensive thing, so. How's everyone doing tonight? Can we hear? Can we see okay? All my pre-stream chatters. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you to tell me if there's anything off or funny sounding, but I can't imagine there would be because I haven't changed anything in between streams, so hopefully we're all right. Thanks for dropping in for a bit, Meg. I do appreciate it. Before we kick things off here, we do have a few new pieces of fan art. Not quite as many as last time. Last time was, like, insane with how many we had. But uh, we also we have a, a few to go over here, so let's uh, let's give credit where credit is due to the fan artists. Let me pop on over here. This one, Captain Squirrel. I see you in chat already. I greatly appreciate this. This is so cute. <laughs> and if you'll see, if you'll see, Haley is holding the bouquet. I don't know if that's um trying to influence my decision on that front at all. We had a whole big conversation about that last time, so we'll see where that lands, but I think we can all safely say where Captain Squirrel lands. But it is super sweet. I actually I absolutely adore this art. Next one, let me... Oh, gosh. Hold on. Wait. Wait. I'm a professional. Okay, here we go. Next one, this comes from Aru's B. I'm not sure if that's exactly how you pronounce that. Over on Instagram, that's also their Twitter handle. I think they have an underscore before it, though. Uh, this is gorgeous. Like, I think they this. I think this person went straight to Pelican Town. They found it in real life, and found like Haley's dark room and these developed photographs of Chloe. That's the only. That's the only like reason I can. <laughs> I can think that this is this amazing. Um. The lighting is what really gets me, yeah. It's actually so good, just so precious. Thank you so much to RUSB for this. It's, um, wow. <laughs> it is staggering. Staggeringly beautiful. And lastly, I think this will be the, I think we only got one more here. We got one from Ellipsis over in the Discord. Doing her daily morning chores as, as she does. Uh, Chloe, that is, not, not Ellipsis. <laughs> Tim Beeb, you know, I feel like Tim Beeb would be a little more happy. Maybe maybe Tim Beeb is finally coming around to the fact that, like, it's too much water. That dog drinks so much water every day. When I, my, back when, back when I, we had our dog, like, he never drank nearly as much water as Tim Beeb does. Going through, but I guess Tim Beeb's a farm dog running around all day. He probably gets really dehydrated, so you know what? Kudos to him. And just to be sure, that does wrap us back around to the uh, to the start of the reel. So, thank you to very much to all the fan artists. If you have any fan art of your own that you'd like to submit to be shown on the stream potentially, feel free to send it to me on Twitter at Argon Matrix. DM me or tweet at me there, or through the Discord. There, are, there's a fan art channel there that you can uh, post your stuff in, share it for all to see. Make sure you let us know how you want to be credited slash if you want it to be shown on stream at all. But I digress. Link to the Discord in the description, by the way. <laughs> Over to Stardew Valley we go. Frugal Farm awaits. Minimize all this extraneous stuff. Zombo Man, I didn't see your art until the very last moment before the stream. Um, <laughs> I don't know necessarily whether I would have included it in the fan reel, but we'll we'll see. <laughs> it was not to say that it wasn't beautiful. But, uh, you know, <laughs> if you know, you know, uh, F, F in chat for Zombo, man. Hello, all the, I see a few stream regulars in here. We got Oceana from, from the wall ago grade. We got Karita. We got Kellifer, Zombo, man, of course. Appreciate y'all being here. I can't take serious, take Chloe seriously with this fedora. I'm looking at it and I'm like, you know what? I thought maybe it would. It, maybe I still haven't given it a chance to grow on me, but I think I think I'm gonna switch sw switch back to the uh, switch back to the straw hat for now. Glimmer with my scrying orb, a shard of knowledge from the future. 
the spirits are in good humor today. It could be a good day to go to the mines, potentially. I'm considering going to the mines, actually, because I wouldn't mind doing some of the monster eradication goals. Thanks for popping in for a minute, Zombo Man. Have a great night. I'm considering doing some of the monster eradication goals. Specifically, a few people have mentioned doing um, the dust sprites one in order to get the burglar ring, which is very smart. Also very smart, someone in the comments of the last video, of the last VOD, I should say, mentioned not to leave all these fish in my fridge because, like, if I accidentally go over here and, like, start making a bunch of sashimi, it might use a very important fish that is hard to get back. So I'll probably move those. Let's get things on the road here. Okay, um, super cucumbers, doing as well as ever, seven of them in here. Oh, they're just about ready for their next quest. I think that could be, this could this could make or break us, whatever their next uh, quest for the fish pond is, because it could be an iridium ore that we need to get for them. Swap out these hats before I forget. See, this just feels more, this feels more in fitting with Chloe's brand right now. Lucky bow it is not, but we'll make do with what we can. Haley Appreciation Club, club grows. <laughs> there are there are dozens of us. I've convinced you to marry Haley in your Stardew Valley world. Hey, that's the, if I can make one person give one extra person give Haley a chance here. That's all I'm here for. We have more than sixteen row here. The fact that it's between Periwinkle and Super Cucumber, I don't know if that's bad. Like if if I can't, I'll try it. I'll give I'll give it a shot and just like see right. Might as well. Just see if that actually works or not. Argon doesn't care about me. That's an awful lot of emotes, Snatcher. <laughs> you might be. You might be. I think you're pushing the pushing the limit of what my bot would actually like automatically. Like my mod bot would automatically catch. That's kind of funny. Thanks for helping me clean up around the valley. I forgot we did that, Linus. Thank you for the fiber seeds recipe. Okay. Um, this is such a ramshackle, horrible assortment of crops, and I'm ashamed of myself. But we'll water it all the same. Because there are crops, and we love them dearly. Speaking of love dearly, Timbeeb, where are you at? Oh, I see him down. No, wait, no, I keep thinking this is Timbeeb, but that's just a weird patch of grass. <laughs> so silly. He's around here somewhere, I'm sure. Maybe he was inside, I don't even know. Either way, he'll have some fresh water whenever he comes back. You got a mod bot. I think the vod is broke. The vod is broken. I don't know. I've looked into it, and it's like tracking. Uh, it's like tracking messages, tracking chat messages and stuff. It seems to be like working, but I haven't seen it ever actually like do anything, which makes me think that like I don't. I, I don't know. Maybe my chat's just that good that I haven't it hasn't had to trigger the bot the bot yet. But let's not test those waters, please. Okay. Um, it is Saturday. I know Robin's birthday was coming up. I looked that up. Um, I looked that up in between streams. The twenty first, so she's tomorrow. Robin, uh, if we can get her a peach, I saw that she loved those. That wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Let's see here. Just a just a fresh salmon berry. Yo, thank you very, very much for the 10 euro super chat, uh, Tristan. 2 a.m. gang and falling asleep with a, credit, with a credit card. Oh, man. Gone are the halcyon days of uh, clutching a teddy bear or a blanket to fall asleep. Now people have fallen asleep holding their, holding their wallets. and uh, Oh, we do have peaches here. Okay, that's good for Robin then. Holding their wallets and credit cards. Greatly appreciate the support to, uh, there, Tristan. All right, I don't think I'm going to go fishing today. Like I said, I think I'm going to consider the mines a bit more uh, strongly here. I also wouldn't mind... Um, let me actually grab first... I want to do this before I forget. Make a chest. Because I want these fish still, like, nearby in the kitchen. So we'll do it like this. We'll just grab all the fish out of here that we, do that we had in the fridge. In order to avoid potential accidental sash sashimi making. See, that's, see, the, the bot definitely should have caught that, so it's absolutely not working. <laughs> Snatcher. That, that is far too many emotes. Also, you sneaky Russian 
Russian bot. They're they're out early tonight. Okay. Got him. So now we shouldn't be able to make any accidental sashimi, like I was saying. Sashimi is one of those words that's like always so hard for me to say for some reason. All right. Also, I need to begin on a uh, a process for Dr. Clovis here. Let me... I actually want to move you over here. Have, have a little bit of a more fancy fellow guarding our crops here. And we'll keep uh, we'll keep you in storage for for a little bit here. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it for now. Anybody here at nine a.m. GG, where are you hailing from? That it's nine a.m. That's got to be. Uh... Oh gosh, where would that even be? Is that is that like the Middle East or something? I'm trying I'm trying to remember my time zones. I don't even know. Um. Let me think. I do a lot of that around here. I don't do a lot of acting. I do a lot of thinking. Let's go ahead. Because what did I want to do today? I wanted to go to the mines. I wanted to... I also wanted to get some... Uh, like I was saying, I wanted to get some crab pots and stuff set up here. And a worm bin, potentially. So that I can actually like use those crab pots effectively. That way I have a decent source of things that I can make into sashimi. For like a, a reasonable source of food. So we might try that. But for the time being, let's just make our way to the mines and see what kind of magic we can make happen here. It is a Saturday, so you know what? Forge might be out in full force today. Because isn't that a thing that, like, Forge resets on the Sunday morning, so we gotta be out here Friday night? Southeast Asia is where you're at, GG, dang. It's a damn right global stream tonight. We got all sorts of all sorts of different time zones here. 3 a.m. gang. Always gotta respect it. 3 a.m. is definitely that threshold where it's like, okay, you you're either committing right now to staying up all night, or you have to, or you or you have to go to bed. <laughs> or if you do go to bed after 3 a.m. when you wake up, you're either gonna be like straight up. Like, it's going to feel, like, even worse than if you hadn't slept whatsoever. That does work. Okay. Or you're going to wake up at such an ungodly hour. You're going to wake... Oh, <laughs> thank you for the worm bin. That's kind of funny. Um, You're going to wake up at such an ungodly hour that it's just, like, not even worth it. It throws up your entire sleep schedule. And I trust me, I've been there. I've been on that... Uh, on. I've I've done my time, my early twenties, back back in those you know the far off times. Gather round, youngins. Let me t let old Argon Matrix tell you a story here, <laughs> of my early twenties. Going to spend the night at a friend's house. They all get high or drunk, and I'm the one who's like staying sober because I'm like I'm the responsible one. And then uh, it, and then we're all chilling at Denny's at 5 a.m. or something. Those were the days. Those were the days. The far off times. Exactly. Exactly my thoughts. I'm going to go ahead and stick a little worm bin right up there. So that should produce, it says, the wiki said two to five bait every day, which is three and a half per day on average. So if we get two of those, we get seven per day. That should be enough to sustain like seven crab pots roughly, which should be Probably a decent amount. I'll need to make more, but I want I want to move these ones that I have over here already. Story time wasn't really a story. What is this? I don't think I've ever seen this scene, and this is like you know it's not the worst thing to walk in on. I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about Linus here. It's just unexpected. The water's never been cleaner. Oh, is this what that? This is the community thing. All that fishing down at the lava eel called there really did some good. I guess maybe all the trash from up here washed down there, and, uh... <laughs> that's really it, huh? I'm not even in that scene. That's just a... That's just a daydream Linus had. Is he... Is he over here? Linus, buddy. <laughs> oh, I can't see from quite... Quite, uh... Quite over here. Alright, we're gonna grab these crab pots and relocate them to our farm. Hey, Jarrett Hathaway! 
Not the best day so far, but glad to be here. How are you doing? I'm sorry to hear that you're not having a great day. Glad you're able to make it for another stream, though. Appreciate it. I understand the college life can be very, very hectic, so uh, no worries about not making it previous times. I am doing pretty well myself. I'm actually just getting off of a, uh, what was more or less a 10-day long, what am I going to do here? What am I going to do here? I was going to, like, hunt down dust sprites and stuff, but I also want to hunt the duggies. I want a yam to help. That might be more priority right now. Although, okay, let's, I can't check the place because it's not open yet. I was going to check the Adventurer's Guild, see what the eradication goals are. Whatever, we'll just go here for now. This is fine. Do a little eradicating. Try and hunt down some duggies if we can. I know there's... I'm going to try and get to, like, floor 23. Because I remember that being a big, uh... Big hotspot for him. Yeah, but I was saying, um... 10 days in a row of working. Working 8-hour shifts. Did not do me well. And I'm finally on a, on a kick of 3 days in a row that I'll have off. So that'll be very nice to get caught up on a bunch of other stuff. Looking forward to that. I see the bot in there. I don't know if we have any mods kicking around, but uh, <laughs> I'm a little preoccupied at the moment. Oh, do I have any quests on the go? I do have a delivery. George wants a corn. I think I have that, so I should probably go do that before I forget. Also, what, do we, what does it take to make crab pots again? Uh, two copper bars and 25 wood. We should be able to do a few of those for sure. Don't think there's any eradication goal for the rock crabs, but... Thank you, Decay. I forgot how soft your Gengar plushie is. I would... You know what? I really like plushies. I just don't have very many of them. I've ne it's like one of those things that I like really enjoy them and I love like looking at them and I love like seeing other people's collections and stuff. But it's not something I've ever gone out of my way to um I'd never go out of my way to actually buy for myself most of the time. I do have a plush bear. Just like just not not like a teddy bear in the traditional sense. It's more like a it's like something you can stick your hand in the back of its head and make it talk. Hello, Pikachu Bob. I noticed you. <laughs> uh, you can stick your head in the back, back of his hand and make it talk, so I guess it's more like a puppet than anything. But I've had that since I was, I think, like, six or seven. And, like, I can, like, look over my shoulder right now, and I know he's, like, chilling right there. He's in good shape. Had a, quite a few duggies on this floor, which was nice. Still hunting that elusive, elusive yam, though. Okay. Wouldn't mind this mushroom, either. Um... I do kind of want to keep some of this stuff, though, like this slime. What do I want this slime for? Slime is, like, useful in some recipes. Uh, sturdy ring. We probably don't really care about that. Maybe slime's not that useful after all for now. We can always... I mean, the slime is not going to be a difficult resource to come by. I'll say that much. All right, you know what? I'm going to head out here because I've... I know that was a very quick delve into the mines, but I want to... Let's see. Uh, we'll go ahead and drop the... Ooh, bug meat off. Bring this. Uh, swap these out. I want to get that corn to George before he goes to sleep. You know those older folks, they... I mean, I'm, I'm approaching that myself, where you go to bed at 7 p.m. or something. Honestly, kind of envious. Oceana, I'm going to leave that entirely up to your discretion. You know, sometimes you're not in the... Sometimes you're in a Stardew mood, other times you're not. I've been there. Does anyone else get it where, like, you're playing a game, right? You're having a great time. It could be Stardew, it could be Minecraft, it could be any number of things. Pokemon, whatever. And you're, like, you're playing a game, you're having a great time. And then, like, out of nowhere, there's, like, a switch in your brain that flips... And you're like, I'm tired. I don't want to play this anymore. And you just like turn it off like instantaneously, even if you're like in the middle of something. Is that a common thing or does that like only happen to me? 
Because, like, I'll be doing something. I've, like, like yesterday, for instance, I was recording a bunch of Stardew stuff. Um, for, for a thing that I'm working on. And, like, just, like, three hours into it, I was, like, get, I was, like, in the middle of, like, a day of Stardew. I'm, like, I just don't want to play anymore. It's like, I was having fun, but it was like, it's just, you know, sometimes that's just, uh, it just hits you like a, like a lightning bolt and you're like, oh man, actually like this game sucks right now. <laughs> Stardew doesn't suck. I want to make that point very clear. I mean, I've committed a whole lot of time to, uh, to this game and I absolutely adore it, but okay. Uh, let's make seven of these. Like I was saying. But sometimes your brain just has enough, and it's like, yeah, we're check we're checking out. Let's go, like, I don't know, read a book or something, <laughs> something productive. Go play some pie pie cross, pick cross, whatever it is. Happened to you playing Minecraft? It seems like it's a fairly common sentiment based on the responses in chat there. Oh, Timby, I hear I hear you, my son. Oh, we oh Timby, there he is. <laughs> I do need to get a little bit more of a handle on this grass, probably. Okay, I would like to make a, a second worm bin, too. Gold, iron. Why do you need gold and iron for a worm bin? I guess because, like, it is, uh... Like, like from a practical standpoint, it doesn't make much sense to me. But I guess from, like, the fact that it generates so much value for you, like, so much bait, just, like, for free, forever, after you make it. G DIY, by the way, that's me. Just call me a uh, DIY guy. That's they're guaranteed that's a YouTube channel. DIY guy. I don't know I don't know of of the, a channel named that, but it's too obvious to not be a thing already. How do you like oh gosh, this is the most cursed arrangement. <laughs> okay. I guess I guess this will do. <laughs> it's just a nice little collection of crab pots. For future reference. We got a bot in there. Mr. DIY. Yeah, another another Russian bot. Sneaking into the fold. Okay, oh crap, I was gonna bring George's corn. Do you think I got time? We'll bring it we'll bring it just in case. Please rearrange them, it hurts me. Rearrange what now? I didn't uh, catch that. Murmuration. I don't even know. Okay, uh, the corn. Oh, are, you, are you talking about the crab pots? Look, I just did what the game told me to do. I, I like walked around and just let the game have its way. By the way, I do appreciate y'all uh, pointing out the bots when they do come, but let's let's try to avoid having chat devolve into a an endless tirade of the word bot every time a bot does appear, because that is uh, it makes it <laughs> number one it makes it a little harder to catch the actual bot, and number two, we don't need to draw attention to them if they're if they're not actually actively causing harm. Just let the mods handle them when they can. Just a PSA from your buddy Argon. Thank you, George. George will be thankful. He will be. Guaranteed. How's the Joja colon? Are you friends with Alex? Sometimes he worries me sick. You're just going to end it like that? That's ominous. Alex, you don't strike me as the fisherman type? Oh, at least that's what he's heard. Oh, he's got a secret fishing obsession. Alex, I see right through you. How many glow rings do you have on? I have a glowstone ring and a regular glow ring. I don't know if they stack or not, but... We're here. What event is this? Is this a Gus Heart event? Is this, uh, hmm. Hmm. Is this an Elliot Heart event? Is this Pierre? Pierre's kind of like standing in a sussy location there. What a pleasant surprise. I was just stopping in to relax. After an eight hour writing session, my man's on the grind. Gotta respect that uh, dedication. Some wine for the lady? Oh, I couldn't possibly. So suave. I know we're like into Haley and everything, but you know, 
<laughs> there's maybe there's room for more. There you go, sir. Or propose the toast to uh, to your doom. Get get bent. Could you imagine? <laughs> no, we'll toast to our friendship. I'm all right with that. I very rarely see this man ever, anyway. But uh, you know what? Just the toast to friendship in general. Everyone, uh, put put some kind of drink emoji, your your preferred drink emoji in chat. We're toasting right now. Toast to friendship. You know what they say? Friendship is magic. Good night, Julia or Julia. To your doom. <laughs> Could you? I can't imagine. I would like. I like. I don't know how Elliot takes it if you toast to his doom. If someone straight up, if I, I offered them, like, hey, what do you want to toast to tonight? Which, by the way, kind of a weird question to begin with. Like, Elliot's the one coming in here getting drinks. He doesn't even know what he's toasting to. What? What a... Like, how? <laughs> but anyway, if, if, if I did ask someone that question, and their response was, hey, toast to your doom, you mf -er, or something of the sort... I would. I don't even know if I'd be offended. I'd probably just like start laughing uproariously because that's like, who uses the word doom ex outside of like Saturday Saturday morning cartoon villains? That's like straight out of Skeletor's lexicon. We got some time left over. We actually have a lot of time left over in the day. I didn't do anything today. What the heck? It was a lazy Saturday, I guess. But lazy it shall be no longer, because I think we're going to do some farm cleanup at home. Made a little bit easier now that we have these glow rings. It's actually, it's actually like kind of kind of nice to be to be out and about. Boot and a boot. All right, we are also going to cull this grass a little bit before it infringes too much upon our nice farm space. Nice being a very relative term. Imagine he actually accepts the toast thinking it's just a joke. That's like honestly what I would do. That would be literally me, and I don't know if Elliot would be any different. Elliot and I, like like me as a person, not Chloe, <laughs> not the character I play here, but uh, Elliot and I actually have like a surprising amount of similarities. Like we're both writers. We both like to be alone most of the time. We both spend an, an inordinate amount of time just, like, thinking and doing nothing else. He does play the piano. He's got me beat there. I can't I can't play, like, I, could, I used to be able to play the tuba. I probably couldn't anymore. At least not, with not, not without a severe amount of practice. Love Greg just peeking out of the bush. Greg is always watching, always waiting. Do trees spread faster in fall? Because there are a lot of saplings <laughs> on the ground. Like, you see, like, look, like, just look at here on this, like, one screenshot alone. We got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, <laughs> 16. I mean, I started moving, so it doesn't really count, but still. Like, geez louise. Argon equals Elliot. I don't know if I go that far. I don't have nearly as luscious long locks as he does. By the way, chat, can you settle a question for me? Does Elliot have red hair or brown hair? Or some or is it somewhere in between? Cause I was always under the impression that Elliot had like pretty red hair. He's it's like a different kind of red than like Penny's hair. Obviously, but it's distinctly it's distinctly red to me. Brown, brown, orange, red. Auburn. Auburn, I like that, Kelly. Auburn bronze. Yeah. I'd probably i I'd probably say I'd probably say Auburn is a fair descriptor. So I guess it really is somewhere in between. I guess it he is kind of straddling that exact line. But if you had to pick one, which one would you would you pick? Because I'd probably stray towards red myself. 
You're colorblind with red and red, brown, purple, and blue. Man, colorblindness like actually terrifies me. <laughs> I'm very like I know a lot of a lot of people have it, and a lot of people is like not like horrible for them, but. And obviously not the worst thing to have by a long shot, but okay. All right, tomorrow is a new day in Stardew. I'm going to be focused because I didn't do freaking anything today. I didn't make any kind of progress. All right, traveling cart on Sunday. Remember the add to existing stack button? Thank you, Oreo. That is, uh, <laughs> that is great. I've been trying to get more used to that just playing on my own. All right, ooh, extra lucky day. Don't mind if I do. Have our watering can and be on our way. Um, so tomorrow we'll have to go into town for a um, for a new special like special request board, right? But today it's traveling cart day. It's Robin's birthday. Oh, yeah. O Oreo, you and I had the same thought at the same time. Birthday. <laughs> Why are you growing sunflower? I'm not growing sunflowers, actually. Sunflowers are are very difficult to come by in this, in this challenge. I wish I were. It'd be a lot easier to work our way into Haley's heart. All right, how much did we get here? Seven? I told you. What did I, what did I tell you? Exactly enough. We hit the we hit the average on the button. Okay. Um. Oh, there's this Dorado just chilling here. It's kind of a doofy looking fish. What are your plans for Skull Caverns? We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Duh. <laughs> Give Robin the good wood. She does like hardwood, but bro, have you heard her talk about these peaches? Though she loves peaches. Maybe I might be wrong about this. I looked it up on the wiki uh, several hours ago, and I think I remember this. But I'm not. If chat, if I'm wrong, and chat tells me I'm wrong, I'm gonna pretend I don't see it because this is what I believe to be true in my heart of hearts. What was I looking for? Mini obelisk. What do you need for this? I would like to make two of these because it would be help to be able to like navigate up from up here to like down to the bottom of the farm where we usually go to the traveling cart anyway. The wiki doesn't say anything about them dropping more saplings during fall, but the last two weeks of fall, it has a small chance to drop a hazelnut. We have we have covered that that territory. Let's see. We don't even have enough for one. We need a lot more hardwood. Okay. Well, maybe we can bring our axe with us and axe some stumps, because I think there are still some stumps further down. Further down, further down. Look at all these. There's just so many saplings. I guess I never tend to this area that much. Yeah, there's a bunch of a bunch of stumps over here. I don't know if it's gonna be enough like hardwood for uh, for what we need for the mini obelisks. I don't also don't know if it's necessary what I want to commit all of my hardwood to. Because if I wanted to make a pair of mini obelisks, I need sixty hardwood. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that just from my uh, my limited resources here. Is that a Hamilton reference? Then nothing sneaks by the Hamilton fans. I swear to God. That was like one of the most like obscure. I like I swear that's one of the most obscure lyrics in that entire musical. But still, the instant I said it, someone was like Hamilton. Don't get me wrong, I love Hamilton too. <laughs> it just amazes me how how identifiable some of it is. Also, someone told me way back when. There's like a secret, there's like a little secret over here somewhere. Hold on, we're blocked off by trees. Is that a reference to Alexander Hamilton? I mean, it's the reference to the musical based on his life, not not like to his actual person. There's like something over here, hold on. I saw this. I saw this when I was looking at the wiki earlier. There's like a hidden little cave or something. Can you like... Like, there's a cave. Yeah, here we go. What the heck is this? <laughs> this is where we go to fish from now on, I guess. We'll put the mini obelisk right there. That sounds like a great time to me. 
Favorite track from Hamilton? You can't, you can't make me pick just one. That's not even fair. Um, I really like Satisfied. Satisfied is the number one that comes to mind first off. Um, history has its eyes on you. You can fish for a painting there? Oh, good to know, Clovis. Thank you. Dr. Clovis, sorry, I didn't mean to disrespect you. All right, let me see here. What I need to focus for a second. Um, so no, 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 no. Okay, woodsy couch though, kind of goaded. You still haven't watched Hamilton? Hey, you know what? It's fine. I didn't. I'm. I'm usually very late on picking up the uh, cultural touchstones like that myself. Like I didn't watch freaking Avatar until... Avatar The Last Airbender, I should clarify. Until, um, 2020. Didn't watch Gravity Falls until, like, last year. I I didn't even watch Hamilton, like, the like the full musical production. I listened to, like, the songs on YouTube. But I didn't watch the actual, like, thing until probably, probably last year as well. Like, Cabinet Meeting? Cabinet meeting's good. Yeah, I don't give it enough. I don't put enough credit on, on its name. But it is pretty nice. Alright. I wasn't doing anything nefarious, like digging through uh, Jody's trash. Mary Lewis, don't... How dare you accuse me? You'll have to accomplish many things to become a well-rounded citizen. What if I just don't want to? No, I've already played that game. I've already done the no-level-up challenge. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Need a common mushroom for a project I'm working on. We can give that a shot. I think we actually picked up a common mushroom just uh, yesterday. Alright, so I want to drop all this stuff off. Then I want to go and give Robin her gift. Then I want to go to the mines and just, like, hammer away at some dust sprites or something. Let's, let's, try, let's try and grind out that burglar's ring. At least for a little bit this stream. We're going to have to do it eventually. I don't know if we're going to get it this stream, probably. Probably not. But it's worth a shot. Hazelnut can go in the fridge. Drop these bad boys off right here. Hazelnut can go in the fridge, I said. Hamilton references are great and all, but let's appreciate the very rare and amazing Bo Burnham references because we love them. Because you, because you love them. <laughs> Bo Burnham, another one. That's another example of someone I didn't... Uh, my friends always told me, like, oh, you should, like, watch Bo Burnham stuff. Like, you'll love it. And I'm like, oh, I'll get to it eventually. And then I finally watched, like, Inside. And then, like, I binged all his, like, older content and stuff. Like, all his uh, songs. Like, from the perspective of God and all that stuff. And I was, like, instantly just in love. Yeah. Queen of Sauce. I can check the TV when I get home, right? There's no, there's no like time limit on Queen of Sauce. It's not going to be like, oh, you tuned in too late. They're always going to be showing the same. That channel reruns the same dang thing every Sunday. Not the same recipe, but just, just the same show in general. I forgot to go to Robin's. <laughs> Oops. Hey, do what you gotta do, Calvin. I appreciate you dropping it for a little bit anyway. Hello, birthday girl. Oh, she did not look happy today. My husband almost set the house on fire last night with his science experiment. One of his beakers exploded and sent a fireball into the rafters. Thank Yoba, I used fire-resistant lacquer when I built the place. What the heck? Is, is fire-resistant lacquer a thing? I guess it must be. Don't eat it in front of her. Like, I don't know how fire-resistant that lacquer is to be able to make this house made of purely, like, wood and nothing else, uh, <laughs> like, stand up to that kind of abuse. That's kind of incredible, Robin. You might want to, like, patent that. Yo, congratulations, Just Fun and David Gaming. Catching that catfish, Spring 3, Year 1, there's no feeling quite like it. Alright, let's go ahead. You know what, let's check... Let's actually check our monster eradication goals. See what we're see what we're looking at right now. Please also find the pier, especially next time you need to do beach fishing. 
Uh, I think I found the pier on the beach farm, if that's what you're talking about. Previously, uh, I don't want to do any of this. What am I looking at that for? That's this. We're never buying anything from that guy. All right, we need more. We need ten more duggies. We need a lot more dust sprites. Skeletons, lots of slimes. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and try and knock out the duggies first, and then we will go for the dust sprites. Just because the duggies, I could get a yam anyway from them, so we might as well. We're hunting that. We need that for uh, fall crops. And then I guess getting and then getting the dust sprites. I mean, getting the dust sprites first would make getting the yam more likely, I think, because of the burglar's ring. But I just want I just want the yam. All right, duggies, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole, dig a hole like you're Simon from the Yogs cast. We also have, like, max luck today, so that's pretty nice. Why do you need to be good friends with Robin? We need to be good friends with everybody for perfection. This area is overrun with monsters. Well, you know what? I guess we're working towards our slime eradication goal today. That is the nice thing about doing, like, a perfection run like this, is that, like, no matter what you do, for by and large, it's gonna be, uh in the service of perfection in some way or another. Like, it's not immediately obvious, like, when we're do when we're just, like, in the moment-to-moment -moment grind, like, killing this slime, but killing that single slime does put us slightly closer to perfection. Might not feel like that, but it's, it does, factually. There's, there is a percentage you can measure. It would be extraordinarily small. Ooh, crab, crab, please, crab, thank you. I think there's, like, a big area with, like, a patch of dirt, like, somewhere on, like, floor 17 or 18 here. There's, like, a few patches of dirt here. I don't know if that's, uh, what, quite what we're looking for. We were not expecting a Yogg's cast reference. I haven't watched the Yogg's cast in a very long time, but come on, man. That's a certified classic. Diggy, diggy hole. You couldn't be around in the gaming sphere on YouTube back in, like, 2011, 2012, whenever that came out, and not, like, get, catch a glimpse of it somewhere. What's your favorite cave floor theme? I don't know if I have one, honestly. I've previously said that all the, uh, like, the themes from the later floors, like the, the lava floors in particular, those are all really good. I don't know if I could name a specific one that I prefer. Or are we talking about the not the music, but the but like the themes, like the like the all this lush jungleery? I see. In that case, I have even less of an answer because I've never put any thought into that. I may be a fool for thinking that Duggies would be somewhere near here. This does not strike me as a Duggy floor. Although. Oh! I stand corrected. One more in the books. Count them. Was that a dog? It was a cat. <laughs> That was my cat meowing because she uh, saw me streaming and she's like, pay attention to me instead. But if I just ignore her for, for long enough, she'll probably just go back to sleep. She just likes to pop her head and up and make herself known every, every once in a while. How is Star doing? Star doing is as Star doing does, legal immigrant. This is the spiral floor. We don't want to be here at all. All right, let's go, uh, we had better luck with this. Bro, it spammed him. Is that, is that a, a Deltarune reference? I haven't played the new chapter of Deltarune, like Deltarune Chapter 2. I played Chapter 1. I don't remember too much about it. 
but it was, uh, I remember having a fun time. Don't ignore your cat. <laughs> I trust me. Trust me. We we have a, a an established rapport. She meows. I like look at her, and she's like, "Yeah, I, okay, you saw me. All right, I'm gonna go back to sleep." And then, like when I actually go to bed, that's that's when I give her the proper attention that she so rightly deserves. Her name is Minou, by the way, M I N O U, and she is the cutest. Don't spoil. I'm not- I'm not going to intend to spoil- I don't know if I could spoil Deltarune even if I wanted to, because like I said, I don't remember a whole ton of what happened. And most of my knowledge of the, like, lore of those games comes for, comes courtesy of- of Matthew Patrick, aka the Game Theorist. Yo, Dr. Clovis, thank you for the, uh, $4 super chat there. Your device had a seizure, just got back, call me Anna. Consider it done, Anna. Glad that you managed to recover from whatever hor horrific fate befell your device. Alright, let's try. We can try and make one more run for floor uh, floor 23 here. See if we can get another, another Dougie. Hello, Internet! Welcome to Film Theory! That's my MatPat impression. I don't think I can maintain his excessive level of ener energy for as long as he does. Um, this Dougie dropped a diamond, by the way. That's gotta be, like, so much rarer than a frickin' yam. I don't- I can't even. <laughs> Come on, dude. I just want a single yam. A single solitary yam. And you're gonna hit me with a diamond? I've never seen the diamond in the flesh. And an Omni Geode to boot. Oh my gosh, you're just slapping me in the face. Matty Patty is kind of is like kind of from Ohio. Doesn't he live in like LA now? I don't even know. I don't stay as on the pulse of the uh, of the of the game theorist community as I used to. I still usually watch the new videos when they come out, but I'm not involved in the discussions they're in. All right, Dougies, give me one more chance, Mister Dougie, bring me a dream. Make it the greatest yam that I've ever seen. Alright. We are gonna head out of here. All you wanted was the earth crystal? That should be much easier to come by than a yam. Best of luck. Oh, wait, you went to kill Duggies and got four yams in one day? Wait a second! <laughs> Goosebust, that's not fair. Can you send me one? Like, uh, fax it to me or something? Hello, Amy. You're a blind Stardew player. Wait, ain't blind as in, like, you've never played the game before, or that you're, like, actually, like, medically blind? That's an important that's an important distinction. <laughs> uh either way, welcome to the stream. All right. Let's see here. Uh the mixed seeds we want to hold on to. Get a nice collection going for for spring when that gets here. I also should be smelting more ores here. I get the opportunity. I only have the copper to smelt, I guess. I left my hoe back up at the back up at the thing. Why didn't you remind me, chat? All right, Queen of Sauce, Glazed. Even she, even she is being. Come on, you learned how to cook glazed yams. Just rubbing it in my face, or maybe that's a sign of things to come. Maybe that means, hey, go get your yam on tomorrow. So actually rude. Uh, I didn't put these things in the furnace like I wanted to. The disrespect. Rubbing salt in the wound, you're telling me. <laughs> Anna, thank you for the $2 super chat. Good luck surviving the Greg Pocalypse. The Greg Pocalypse has begun. I don't think I'm going to be doing uh, doing it all this stream, but 
I think I think it's going to be a slow burn. You can't you can't put all your Gregs in one basket, as it were. Okay, let's see here. Go ahead, grab this free eggplant. I don't think I checked my daily luck either, so I should totally do that. Seven. <laughs> we're just get, we're just hitting that those exact averages every time. Excuse me. Excuse, excuse me. Okay, this is this is this is cursed. I hate it. S stop. <laughs> All right, come on, give me that. No, give me this. This. Okay, fine. We'll have it your way. Oh gosh, my freaking inventory's full. This is what a disaster. I can't go through that way. My inventory's full again. Can you make a clam into sashimi? What in my inventory can I make into sashimi right now? Not clams. Everything but clams. Okay. Good to know. We'll just sell the clams then. I put my copper bars in the foraging chest. Thank you, thank you. Can't let them cross-contaminate. Alright, eggplant goes in there. Y'all can go in here for now. Restock, restock. Uh, one more. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> the most cursed... We'll, we'll probably end up moving that setup around. I'm not even gonna lie, that's gonna get annoying. <laughs> Very, very quickly. You should buy a backpack. I won't tell anyone. It's about the principle of the matter. I appreciate. I appreciate the fact that you wouldn't snitch on me, but my own brain would snitch on itself to myself constantly, and I just couldn't take that. Okay. Um, fruit bat cave. We'll have a look. Ooh, peach to replace the one we uh, gave to Robin. Don't mind if I do. So I don't know if sashimi is going to be our go-to like food source going forward. That's kind of what I'm thinking with these crab pot with this crab pot setup. Uh, we'll work our way through the blackberries probably first. Not like that, like this. Yeah, okay. Uh, I should also get these going, honestly. Just to have them done. What was my luck today? Ooh, you hate to see it. Alright, maybe not a, uh, a good day for the mines then. Although, I guess we're not trying to progress in the mines, we're just trying to kill monsters. Uh, I need to go to the special orders board. Let's go ahead... And just do that. Let's get that out of the way, because that might inform the rest of our decisions here. If you hold bait, you won't you won't pick up the crab pot. Dr. Sandwich with the absolutely incredible information. That is that is new tech, as they as the kids say. And I will certainly be using that, thank you. How you doing there, Marnie? Yeah, you better look after all those animals, honestly, because I'm I'm not about to buy any myself. I'll tell you that. All right, special orders. What do we got on the order form today? Robin's project. She needs eighty hardwood. Robin, I actually literally can't do that. <laughs> uh, aquatic overpopulation. The tiger trout has grown to unsustainable to an unsustainable level. I need a local angler to help reduce their numbers. This one also gives, it gives me just like the, the farm computer recipe, or it would have if I, if I hadn't done the other one, right? Did I finish Linus's trash quest? I did. 80 hardwood. Like, I feel like both of these suck. <laughs> Robin's gonna run me rag with that. I don't even think I can do it. Should I do either of these? Like, or should I just like, chill? 
I guess I could do like Tiger Trout and maybe get some like money for it or something. This one I'm actually pretty sure I just wouldn't be able to accomplish unless I get like super lucky in the mines, getting them from like crates and barrels and stuff. I don't think that's a viable solution though. Mountain Lake is 7 to 7 o'clock to 1900 hours. Welcome back with Lunch Meg. Hope you're having something good. Chill, chill. I think I'm going to go with this one. Now let me actually look at what I agreed to. Catch 10 tiger trout. Cool. Can and will do. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but sometime this week. They'll swap up for something else in the next few in a few days. Doesn't it take? I thought, uh, or like, if I ignored them, would it have been like they'll just like reset with another one like next time, like in a couple days, or does, do I still have to wait till next week in order to get one? Kuro Akami coming in with the five dollars super chat. Stuck at work again. Just wanted to say hello, praise the good word cheese, and support and support you. I still don't understand the cheese thing, but I appreciate it. Catch you Tuesday, my dude. Best of luck with work. I know that grind is not fun. And uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the support as well. Super, super appreciate it. Okay. Uh, I didn't want to... Oh, we'll keep we'll keep doing the Dougie thing. Teach me how to Dougie. <laughs> I, I, could you tell that I regretted saying that as it was coming out of my mouth? Anna, thank you for the $2 uh, super chat. Go Goose dislikes cheese. The inside joke is not something I'm... <laughs> I'm I, I glanced at the Discord, the general chat, and I saw a bunch of pictures of cheese. And I was like, that's a lot of cheese right there. Probably, dare I say, too much cheese. But I don't want to get into that discourse here, lest we alienate the people who are not familiar with the cheese. really just looking for staircases which is kind of the problem like they're like there's no good floors that you can just like go to and like there's like a big patch of dirt like this for the duggies is there really i just need, i just need one yam a single solitary yam like creation please it's like a 3% drop rate. It should not be. I mean, I guess it is. That is still kind of rare. Anna coming in with the uh, another $2 super chat. Thank you so much for the support. Longtime supporter of the of the stream so far. It's a joke you started with. Le it's a joke you made starting with League of Legends. Oh, that's, that's already well over my head. I tried. I played one game of League of Legends like seven years ago or something crazy like that. And I was like. I'm good. <laughs> Nothing against the game or anyone who plays it or anything like that. It's just it was it was not my kind of jam. You know, some genres just don't vibe with you, and that was uh that turned out to be one for me. I gave it a shake. Same happened with the uh, like first person shooters. Tried some Call of Duties. Tried some uh Actually, that's mainly the only one I tried, but you know what? It was just like the style of it was just like, ah, uh, you know what? I'll pass. Uh, crab would not be the worst. Floor 12 is a free staircase. Always in 13 has a big patch. I will definitely give that a shot, uh, Gawain. Because that could be good. Because like floor 10, obviously, you just like go down to the next floor. floor. So we just have to find a staircase on floor 11 in theory. Something like this. <laughs> Anna, thank you for uh thank you again, well number one for the for the super chat, and again for um assuaging my concern 
that you might be like financially ruining yourself with all these uh donations. You know, you know what? Floor eleven here is actually not bad for dirt either. Hold on a minute, we might have found a new meta, courtesy of uh, Gawain in chat. I thought my luck was like the worst possible. These staircases beg to differ. You can only play Call of Duty at like 2 a.m. <laughs> How oddly specific. Yo, look at that crab. He's sneaking. What a sneaky boy. Oh, thanks for the thanks for the staircase. Take your staircase and raise you another staircase. That's our that's our monster Dougie goal. But the yam it still eludes us, which is quite unfortunate. But maybe this guy, maybe this just just maybe it's just waiting for me as a reward. Please, please. <laughs> I actually don't know what the like what the real reward for Dougie eradication is. Story time. Thank you for the $2 super chat, Anna. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I have any stories to tell you. You just gotta, you gotta wait for them to come organically. But I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the sport. I will do my best. Let me regale you with the story of how I live a rather boring and secluded life. <laughs> By and large, and a lot of the stories that I could tell you, I probably shouldn't tell you because they're kind of sad. But let's not go down that rabbit hole. Alright, deposit all this stuff. There's that earth crystal you were looking for. <laughs> it's a hard hat for, uh, for the Duggies. Let's see. Might as well pick it up, see uh, see how fetching we are in our new... I mean, a new hat is always something to celebrate, as far as I'm concerned. Also the insect head, I guess. Like, I, like, I guess. <laughs> Keep your dome in one piece. Construction worker Chloe? It's kind of fetching. I'm not going to lie, I kind of like it. I still prefer the straw hat, personally, but you know what? Go off. I'm so sorry, Goosebus. If we could trade luck, I totally would. I would absolutely give you this earth crystal that I got for a, uh... Oh, for, uh, for a yam. Just because earth crystals, you can also just, like, forage in the mines. Alright. Dust sprite eradication time? We're going after that elusive burglar ring. Is there a good floor to, like, reset for uh, for a bunch of dust sprites? Because it's probably going to be better than, like, going through all these different floors, right? Also, we can use this opportunity to potentially get our, um, our Dwarf Scroll 3 that we still need. Chloe D. Luffy? I understood that reference. I got a friend who is very big into One Piece. Try, try, keeps trying to get me into it, and I'm like, I just don't have the time, man. That's a, that's an investment. Hey, Dwarf Scroll 2. That's not, I mean, the game kind of heard me, but it was like, you know, it, it tried. It tried its best. I can't fault the game on that one. 45. You start at 60. We'll see. We'll see where this takes us. Where this, we're starting at floor 40 here. Takes us. Should I save the dwarf any dwarf scrolls that I get as gifts for the dwarf? Does he does he love dwarf scrolls or does he merely like them? What the heck is this anyway? Yellow, Bilbo Dwarven Scroll. This one's. I don't know. 
like from a logical standpoint, like you look at the dwarf scroll, right? And you're like, okay, I, I should probably give that to the dwarf. He probably loves that crap. But like, when you think about it, what if someone walked up to you? What if like someone you thought was like a friend or was like trying to be your friend? They're like, hey man, happy birthday. I got you, um, <laughs> I got you Homer's Odyssey. Or I got you like, like this book on anthropology or something. And it's like, yeah, some people might love that. But just because you are like a person, <laughs> Homer's Odyssey probably wasn't the great, the best, the best choice to go for, but just like an, like an anthropology book in general. Because I don't think Homer's Odyssey has anything to do with anthropology. It's just a very common, <laughs> commonly referenced work. Like, if someone gave me that, I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. I guess. I'm probably not going to read it. I'm sorry. But I got you the dictionary. Maybe that's even more fitting. <laughs> uh, shoot. We're getting full here. We can do a little more, a little more monster slaying. Uh, let's try 45. Someone was saying 45. Happy birthday. I got you this entire... Uh, I got you a college syllabus. Like, I can't even read Dwarvish. I don't know what the Dwarf Swirls are saying. Like, it could be the entire history of his people, or it could be, like, the hottest memes from the year 1300. Who's to say? If memes existed back in the year 1300... I mean, they, they, they probably did in some capacity. I think memes are, like... Like, the term we use for them has probably changed over time. But I think the idea of them has been uh, ubiquitous throughout culture. Oh, I hear you. Get a couple more of these guys in here. Starred slime. I do always get excited when I see a slime with a little star on its antenna. But then I, like, kill it, and it's like, here's a forest sword. And I'm like, oh, thanks. Really gonna get good use out of this. Uh, yeah. I know you can sell them to the Adventurer's Guild. It's just, like, so out of the way. Alright. Time to Vamoos, I think. What do we want to bring with us back home here? Um, I will take with me these geodes. I'll trade my hoe so I don't forget. You know what? I'm going to get rid of... I mean, it's a, it's like a one-of-a-kind reward. We'll just, we'll just leave them here. It's fine. Uh, the mixed seeds, for sure. Room for one more. I guess I don't really need to bring like all this stuff, necessarily. Uh, let's not fret on it too much. Always sneakers for you? I get those too, Brandon, yeah. Sneakers and the forest sword. They haunt my dreams. The oldest meme is pretty newish, newish like the 1900 search oldest meme, and there, oh, is there like a whole history to that? Is there a video essay I can watch? I'm down for that. That was lucky. <laughs> it actually was something that added to a stack we already have. Is the pickaxe upgraded? It is, Sylvie. It is upgraded to steel, which is the highest potential we're going to be able to get. The highest potential we need to get in order to get perfection, is what I should say. Thanks for all the torches. Okay. How do you guys like my torch collection? Nice 50 torches. I should do something with those someday. Um, anything else I need to do here? I don't think so. Pop that in there. Get some smelting going. Do I need copper bars for like much of anything? They're not that hard to come by. I feel like I could just like sell these, right? For like some like extra just residual income. 
I know I used them to make crab pots literally earlier in the stream, but I'm not going to be making crab pots like every day. Gonna have the brightest farm around. Yeah, just stick a torch on. What? One gold? This is a priceless artifact. Oh, man. <laughs> I remember that. Triple Berry warned me about that in one of the previous streams. And I was like, oh, yeah. They're like, not that, uh, not that expensive, are they? Tapper or keg? Uh, Tapper, I guess you need it for, yeah. I don't know how many of those we're going to make either. A little extra luck. As per the wiki, what is it? They don't stack. I missed something there. <laughs> we'll keep collecting them for now. We can always just sell them in like one go later on. That is so much easier. And we have one bait to spare. Nice. You know, I should get a chest on the go up there just for this bait, for extra bait. Oh, I have 37 bait here <laughs> that I'm just, like, sitting on? That's cool. Alright, um... Chest, pop it right there. Pop it, lock it. I guess we'll, you know, we'll take these. The trash on the go here. Um, thank you for the, uh... <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce your name again, sorry, but for the 420.69 rubles. Nice. I'm a bit late today's stream, but anyway, happy stream, everybody. You're going to join the Discord today. Very excited to talk. P.S. Yeah, Dwarf Squirrel sucks. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm glad to... I'm happy to see you joining the Discord. There's a lot of fun going on there. It's kind of like... I don't know. It's like the Wild West of Discord right now. There's not a whole lot of <laughs> whole lot of structure to it, but it's kind of part of the charm, honestly. I hope you have fun over there. Oh, it should recycle the broken glasses, too. My glasses. I can't see without my glasses. Nope. Oh my gosh, my organizational system is actually nightmare fuel. It's a little wild, but fun. <laughs> also, if anyone just wants, like, notifications of when, like, streams start or, or when the rare once-in-a-lifetime videos get released... That's also a good way to do it. You just, like, sign up for video or stream alerts over there, and you don't even have to, like, interact with the Discord if you don't want to. Still just handy. Probably easier than, than YouTube's notification system, I'll tell you that much right now. More reliable at any rate. <laughs> and one for my good buddy, Tim Beeb. Okay. I guess we're gonna go back into the mines and eradicate some dust sprites, probably. Like, I know it might- it's not the most engaging content, to be sure, but it's, uh... It's gotta be done. <laughs> and I think the earlier we get it done, the better, honestly. Let's go ahead and just- you know what, actually, we can also do some tiger trout fishing. Why not mix it up a little bit? We'll bring our fishing rod with us. Tiger trout. So we need to catch ten of them. Has grown to an unsustainable level. Where do I catch tiger trout? Tiger trout, that's you. Number caught three. A rare hybrid trout that cannot bear offspring of its own. You don't tell me where it's caught. That's so mean. I saw someone say mountain lake, but I feel like it's the river. Yeah, YouTube just kind of decides when it wants to work and when it doesn't. Uh, do I have a delivery? I don't I don't have any deliveries on the go. Who wants what here? Buying one carpet three times the market value. Demetrius, you're actually mad. <laughs> don't you live next to the lake? Just go grab them with your hands. It's like the most common fish. River. Okay. We'll do a little bit of fishing for some tiger trouts. Me too. Me too, Maru. 
I would say that fall trees are like overrated as far as like an aesthetic goes. But I think they're rated exactly perfectly, honestly. I think it's rare. I think it's rare for something to be like so like universally praised and loved as like the aesthetic of fall trees. And of, of, of autumn in general, at least in like certain parts of the world. And for it to not be like, uh, like, oh yeah, but it's not like that good. Like, no, it's kind of that good. It's just like really beautiful. Sylvia, I need a steel pickaxe because there is a, um, a boulder on Ginger Island blocking a pat, blocking a patch of dirt that you need to hoe in order to get one of the golden walnuts. And that boulder can only be broken with a steel pickaxe. And since we need to collect all the golden walnuts in order to attain perfection, we're kind of we're kind of stuck there. Hopefully that answers the question. I am putting together a uh, an FAQ document for the price of perfection for situations such as this, and then I can just like have that pinned at the top of stream chat and reference reference that. It's an idea someone had in the Discord, and I think it is a very good one. It's not three times the market value. He lied. What did Carp sell for? He was going to give me like 90, right? So I would think they sell for 30. Can't you just use the bomb to blow it up? That is in reference to the golden walnut under the boulder. You can, yes. Uh, I landed on the decision that that is too close to a glitch slash exploit for me to, to want to do it. Carp is 30. Carp sells for 30 gold. I don't know. I think, I think Demetrius might be, uh, might be on about that. He might be honest. As long as he actually gives me the 90 gold he's promised. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Yeah, I think like the bomb thing for the golden walnut, it occupies the same space as far as like glitches slash exploits go as, the ch as using a chair to get into the secret woods, which I've also disallowed. It seems like one of those things that's like, okay, technically it works, and technically like you're using the game and game mechanics in like a way that is like viable and reasonable, I guess. But it's largely just like feels too video gamey, if you know what I mean. It's like it's cool that those things exist and that there there those are ways that you can use to like uh, circumvent the system. Like, if you're knowledgeable enough about Stardew, you can, like, use those to your advantage. But for a challenge like this, it just feels like... I don't know. By, by all means, if you're doing this challenge yourself, feel free to allow those. No skin off my nose. I'm just doing it uh, the way that feels most... most honest to, the, to my play style, I suppose. Would you consider streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Uh, possibly. I just don't think I have the a good setup for it right now. Dude, are tiger trouts, it's a certain time, is it like a nighttime fish? Actually, you know what, I was sent a document about these fish times from Illegal Immigrant, I'm pretty sure. And I just like totally forgot about it, but it's too late now, I don't have it open and it's it's... <laughs> I have, a, I have all my things set up, just, just how I like them. Let's go get a carp for Demetrius while I'm waiting on some kind of response there. Illegal, you say? That That is that is one trade-off uh, to Karita. You make a good point there, is that... Um, oh, hold on! Ooh, 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 derail my train of thought! Ironic, because it's a train. Get it? Rails? 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. All right, we're just getting freaking unlucky, I guess. The train, you so rarely see it. Leprechaun shoes? Leprechaun shoes, please? Yo, there it is. Sup? Sup? Can we get this, like, there's, like, an emoji that looks like this one. Can we get that spammed in chat? Like, a little, like, sly face emoji? I don't know what it's actually called. Yo, you never see this. Photo op. Photo op. Love me a train, just chilling at the train yard. Don't pay no mind to this. This is slanderous advertising that I will not allow in my stream. 
train is cracked. Drop something, please. Anything. L literally anything. <laughs> I'll take a single piece of stone. Sir? Mr. Conductor? That's the one. That's the emoji right there. Alright, cool. Linus is gone. Fun times. Still got to finish up catching up the VODs? No worries, Rebecca. It's a, it's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to watch. Take your time. Train be like, sup? Yo, sup? I'm just a train. Just rolling through. Say hi to my boy Thomas next time you see him. That's a deep cut right there. Little Thomas the Tank Engine joke. Oh, Sebastian, I thought you were about to... Sebastian's just like, oh man, are we on a date? Oh, jeez. This is very forward, Sebastian. I, did, I, was, I was expecting you just to be, like, fishing here for your dad, like, alone, but you know what? We'll take it, I guess. You can chill. This is the second time you've been interrupted by reading my messages with hype. I don't even remember what I was talking about. I'm sorry, Karita. Oh, it was the opportunity cost of the bombs. Yo, he's being very forward now. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> uh, the opportunity cost of, like, using the bombs to get that golden walnut versus using the pickaxe is that you have to still struggle through the game with a basic pickaxe if you want to go that route. So, like, yeah, it's definitely a trade-off. Good company with Sebi. <laughs> this is the mountain lake. I know I do know that. I just I need a carp for Demetrius. He's requested one. This is not a carp, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, but that's a treasure. That's a largemouth bass and a half. Lost book. I swear that's gotta be like one of the last ones. Have they added, has, has Concerned Abe added new lost books in updates? Or is it, like, what, still just all the same ones that we had from the start of the game? Can I please pause? You need to pee. The stream, the stream halts for no man, woman, or child. Or, or a non-binary friend, either. Except me. Like, if I needed to pee, then yeah, that'd be a different story. But that's streamer privilege right there. Nautilus fossil. I've already got one of those. We know a lot about science, nature thanks to science. Yeah, I guess they do go hand in hand, huh? They're always the last ones, just never end. Let's go home and sell all this stuff. I tried my best at this at this whole fishing grind, but you know what? It's just not it's not working out today. I guess it was supposed to it should have been a an eradication day. Who are the mods today? We have a decay decay in here right now. Holding down the fort. All the other mods are otherwise preoccupied, I believe. But that's alright, that's why we have, uh, that's why we have a decent amount of mods, so that not all of them, because not, obviously not all of them are going to be here all at the same time. Boom, 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 boom. Bam. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's go ahead and not put our fishing pole in our, in our mining chest. Let's go ahead and do a little more farm cleanup while we're here, while I'm thinking about it. Seems like a good time, as good as time any, as any for that. Yo, Timby, what were you doing way down there? My guy. He's usually chilling over by the, uh, over by his bowl and stuff, but... 
He's venturing out today. He feels uh, adventurous. I also do want to work on keeping this whole section clear down here of debris. Because I do think I would like to... Like, I was, I was actually doing the math for this the other day. Because in order to get, like... Like, basically when spring comes, we're going to do a whole big coffee bean harvest. And I think if I plant a hundred coffee beans... That at on, like, spring 1st and keep watering them and harvesting them every single time, then that should be more than enough experience to get where I need to, which is going to be level 9 farming for the seed maker. It might even be enough for level 10 farming, I'm not positive. And there are enough tiles here to do that, even with the the extra space taken up by the logs. I just don't know how, like, the layout would work, because I would, the only reason I would want to use this space as opposed to, like, my space up uh, by my house is because of the sprinklers, right? Because you can use sprinklers in this area, as opposed to where you can't use them up on the sandy soil. Chloe's Coffee Empire? Rivaling, uh, rival only by Charlie Barley's Spaghetti Empire? Or potentially Jam City? If you know, you know. So yeah, I think I can make it work. I think there's like a way to make it to set this up. I also have the problem in that I can't craft like good sprinklers right now. Like the only sprinklers I can craft are these these ones, which these suck. I guess that's what I need my copper bars for though. Like I can I once I hit level 6 farming, which is like still a little ways off as far as experience points go. Then I can get uh, the quality sprinklers, and those are a lot better. But these ones, they only water, like, north, south, east, and west. They only water four tiles, right? Which makes it a little more... A little dicier of a setup. Basic sprinklers are sad? You're telling me. I don't think I've ever used them before. I think I always got to level 6 farming before, like, sprinklers even became, like, a thought in my mind. And then by that point, it's just like you're chilling. You can even—I mean, that at that point, a lot of the times, like you can you can just get away with like buying iridium sprinklers from Krobus. We don't have that luxury. Chloe's cafe—I <laughs> like that. Renovate our little fruit bat cave into a fruit bat cafe. Yo, could you imagine that? Like a cafe, but like where like these little bats swoop down with little cups of coffee for you and they like serve and they like have little bow ties on. Oh my gosh. Crowdfund it? Get a Kickstarter going, please. Bats are cute as heck. Cute as a button. Like a cat cafe, but for uh but a bat cafe? Bat made cafe is my aesthetic. <laughs> I like that. Maybe I shouldn't, but I do. Not after COVID, they aren't. Uh oh. I'm not caught up on my COVID lore. Are bats bad news? I, gu I guess they are like pretty notorious for carrying diseases and stuff, so that's not really that surprising. But like we only hire the cleanest bats around. They have to pass they have to pass all kinds of different tests. Alright, let's go ahead and deposit all this. That's a lot of wood. Holy crap. We got two stacks of wood on the go. My goodness, if only you could convert this into hardwood somehow. I wish that were foreshadowing. I just don't think there actually is a way. <laughs> All right. Uh, get some more ore on the go here. Copper. Probably, like, a bad idea from, like, a realistic standpoint to just, like, put a bunch of furnaces on right before you're about to go to bed. That would make it so damn hot. 
but it's fine. It's not, we don't have to worry. There's no temperature gauge in Stardew Valley, thankfully. You get people dressed as bats. It's just not the same kind of thing. Level 7 foraging, though. We'll take that. A little tree fertilizer. A little wild seed winter. And some warp totems. One step at a time. What about a Greg cafe? That actually sounds like something out of a creepypasta. Where you walk into a cafe and it's like, Hey, it's like, hello, please take your seat. And then like you go and sit down and then like, there's a freaking sta scarecrow next to your table. <laughs> And it's like, please place your order on this notepad. And you like, you like look between the two of you because you're there on a date because you're a psychopath. And you're, um, and you're like, all right, what do you want? And then you like, you just both like are looking at the menu, but constantly keeping an eye, like out of the corner of your eye, you're looking over, you see the scarecrow, you're watching to see like if its eyes move or anything. And it's just like, it's just a normal scarecrow, right? But then like when you finally decide on what you want to order, you're like, okay, I guess I'll get this. And you like write it down on the notepad. And it's like nothing really happens. But then like the moment you look away for even a split second, that notepad's gone. The scarecrow's probably still there because it doesn't want to break the illusion. And then it, but it's your food just gets wheeled. It's, it's actually sounds so scary. <laughs> Scarecrows are freaky, dude. Scarecrows are like in real life. You ever seen an actual scarecrow? They're scary, man. They live up to their name. Uh oh. All right. Uh, thankfully, the rain is be is kind to us, but it, it, rain could be a portent of bad things coming in this fish quest. No iridium ore. We don't want them to request iridium ore because that kind of puts us in a in a bad spot. I need uh I need all your energy. Everyone, everyone say uh, no iridium, no iridium in chat. I want to see it. I want to see a wall of no iridium. Never, never, ever will you see that in any other capacity in Stardew Valley. But today, we do not want the Iridium. Not, 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 not as a request for these dudes. No Iridium. Kind of nice that we can actually harvest, like, all that at the, at the same time. Honestly, I put these tea leaves in the bait chest. I know it's, like, weird cross-contamination, but it's just fitting. All right. No, I'm seeing lots of no iridium. I feel good about our chances now. Let's give it a whirl. Please. We're doing okay, but we have it with the pickles. Pickles! I can do pickles. Yes! Chat, you did it. You guys did it. It's not iridium. They just want to... They just want... <laughs> but hold on. What kind of pickles, though? We got to think what a super cucumber would like. All right, preserves jar. I should probably have made these in the past anyway. Uh, let's see. Stone and wood. Well, first, let's go ahead and do this. Pickled iridium. <laughs> Don't you dare. Uh, that's fine. Make all the sashimi. I feel like I accidentally just made something, like, important into sashimi. But... I'm, I think I'm just going crazy. I think I'm psyching myself out a little bit too much. Alright, we want the wood. And we want the stone. Let's make, like, a few of these. Five seems good for now. Now, where do I put them is the question. Oh, jeez. Because I don't have any... I'm not going to have any freaking sheds, like, ever. What if we just, like, do, like, this? Three, four... Five, and then, like, over here we can do kegs or something later. Alright. Uh, you're getting pickled parsnips, whether you like it or not. Sounds absolutely revolting, to be to be perfectly honest with you. Actually, you know what? I kind of take it back. I'd try it. I would try a pickled parsnip, 100%. No, Argon, you messed up. I hate to see that. <laughs> I hate to see that in all caps in chat. I don't know whether you're trolling or whether I should be legitimately concerned. Oh no. <laughs> they wanted pickle taro root? <laughs> you're baiting me? Are you going to age your row? Probably a good idea. Now that we have the like capacity to do it. 
if you don't like parsnips in general. I tried the parsnips for the first time literally at Christmas this past year. Kind of great. I kind of really like them. Not even going to lie. Today is George's birthday. Where did that thought come from? I couldn't even tell you. But I'm pretty sure. Where's Where the heck is George? George, there he is. 24th of fall. We got him. Where's our leeks? Leeks. Leeks. Leeks! Cool. It's not, not a gold quality. It's not going to be the best. But I think he'll be happy to have an out-of-season leak. Even if it's been rotting in our chest for the past two months. Possibly three months. All right. Go ahead and deposit this nonsense. Uh, we don't need any rainy fish. We do still want the tiger trouts, as well as a carp if we can swing it. We'll give it a shot. Yesterday wasn't our day, but that's because we had this stuff in our back pocket. We had our pickaxe ready to go, so like the fish knew not to bite because they were like, he just once once we once we start biting, he's just gonna abandon us. Age leak. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's just got a fine, uh... Don't, don't mind the mildewy aroma, George. I've just been aging it in my basement. Parsnips is your St. Patty's Day meal? St. Patrick's Day is one of those, one of those uh, holidays I, like, very rarely celebrate in any capacity. I'm usually working on it. Working on the day of it, I should say. But, uh... I mean, I, sh I should definitely celebrate my Irish heritage a little bit more, probably. Yo! George frickin' loved that leak, though! Hold on, he's skyrocketing. He's rivaling Haley right now. Who are we kidding? No one could ever rival Haley. Even, even once we start to get people with, like, ten hearts and stuff? Not a chance. Not a chance. I made the tiger trout into sashimi? Was it... But that doesn't... Hold on. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't know how that would have happened to begin with. But, like, it doesn't matter because I have to catch the tiger trout. I don't have to, like, deliver them, I'm pretty sure. Alright, this is my better fishing spot. My better spot for fishing luck. Let's give it a give it a whirl. Can they be... Uh, this, this is an important point, actually. Can tiger trouts be caught in the rain still, or is it only specifically on sunny days? Do I enjoy any beverages of the adult kind? Not even slightly. I've tried many different ones. Working at a liquor store, it's kind of inevitable that you event that you do sip on some here and there, just to, from like product knowledge and that sort of thing. And I just hate the taste of alcohol. <laughs> Plain and simple. And everyone I've talked to, they're like, oh yeah, alcohol like tastes terrible. But, like, it's just, you just gotta drink it and get used to it. And I'm like, why would I drink it if I don't like the taste of it? They're like, oh, it's an acquired taste. And I'm like, yeah, but, like, why? <laughs> like, like, what, like, if I could just be drinking, like, a soda or water or apple juice or something that, like, I do enjoy the taste of, why would I subject myself to that? And, I mean, there's arguments there to be made about, like, why do people, like, get buzzed or drunk or whatever. And it's like, sure, I guess. I've just never had that crave, that craving. Chocolate milk, another great, fantastic drink. And coffee kind of falls in that same camp for me, too. It's one that I understand a little more because, like, a lot of people, like, they get energy from coffee. And they're like, oh, I can't uh, can't get started without my morning coffee, or whatever. But that taste, that bitter taste, is just uh, such a high bar to high barrier to entry for me. Being drunk sounds awful. I'm with you there, Zenya, Zenyella. Like everything I've any every, any time I've ever seen like one of my friends drunk or like. Like red stories, or like just the whole the whole idea of being drunk in general. It's like it sounds scary. I don't like it. <laughs> like, like I like being in control of my person at all times, preferably. Ooh, an amphibian fossil. Definitely take that. Let's go turn that in, and then uh, 
maybe sell some of this other stuff. Why is chocolate milk so good? Takes two of the best things in the world, chocolate and milk, and combines them. It doesn't work all the time. Like, if you combine, like, jelly beans and pizza, probably not going to work out so hot. But uh, it does work out on occasion, that's for sure. Note from Gunther. Wow, this library has become great. Thanks for your help. Thanks a bunch. I'm not going to check. I'm No, Gunther. I hate to tell you, no one's ever going to check this book out. Also, this was a lost book. Didn't I find this, like, while fishing? Did Gunther, like, take write this note down, right? This is Gunther's thought process. He writes it down. He balls it up, throws it in the water, waits for me to fish it up and bring it back to him. You piece? <laughs> you piece of trash? Penny making me sad all of a sudden. Maybe if it's a dessert pizza? I have never tried a dessert pizza, to be fair. Sounds like it would just be too... Like, I got a sweet tooth, but that sounds, like, sickeningly sweet. Gunther threw it in the ocean. <laughs> He wrote it down, and he was like, he was, he was looking at the note, and he's like, oh, maybe this is too corny. Maybe she wouldn't like this. Maybe, like, like she's done so much work for this museum, and I wanted to like thank her for it, but like, it seems she's also like kind of trapped me behind my behind my desk here with all the with this chicken statue. So I don't know. And then he's like, he changed his mind about it, but then jokes on him. I fished it up anyway. Maybe that's the real lore. I've changed my mind about these tiger trouts. I don't want to fish for them anymore. I want to cry. Uh, okay. I do have a quality sprinkler right here. Let's bring some of this home. Do I... I can just, like, sell these, probably. Let me know now if I shouldn't sell any of these. But I'm probably just going to sell them. Tiger Trout is only fishable until 7 p.m. Yeah, and I think I'm done with it anyway. I think I'm feeling more going back to the mines might be a better idea. Didn't you want something, Sam? Or did I already, like, totally blank on that quest and just, like, forget it? Yeah, it's just Car Demetrius wants a carp. Sam wanted something earlier. I don't remember what anymore. Don't sell them. Give them to you to cook. Are you a certified uh, illegal immigrant? Are you a certified fugu chef? I, I can't. I can't give them to you in good conscience if you're not. Something like this. Something like this. Our pickles are not yet done. That's fine. Not certified? Uh, go to culinary school and get back to me. The legal immigrant is Gordon Ramsay. I don't even know if Gordon is qualified to make fugu, to be honest with you. He very well could be. I don't know his credentials, but I feel like... Oh, hold on. I feel like you have to like go through a very specific qualification process in order to be able to do that, right? No one tell Charlie that I've befriended Abigail this quickly. Great song, though. I'm, I'm vibing. Why am I out here in the rain? Uh, where's my the option? I came to eradicate some dust sprites. Just doing some work, I guess. Enjoying the weather. I could ask you the same question. I think enjoying the weather, because she's she's a rainy, rainy day girl, and also rain is pretty good. Oh yeah, see, she loves it. <laughs> I came here to spend some time alone. Oh, sorry, I'll be on my way, I guess. Nice little firefly lantern, though. I'm amazed that they're, like, wandering around here, out here in the rain. Come stand under the tree.
Abigail? Did you, have you? Uh, <laughs> she's been reading those uh, like poetry collections a bit too much, maybe. Spending too much time with Elliot. Oh, hey, here's my mini harp, by the way. You know, you know how we always carry this mini harp around. We would we would have a lot more inventory space, but unfortunately, this mini harp takes up 24 slots on its own. Chloe's kind of jamming. Isn't there, like, a chance for your character? Like, there's, like, a random, like, number that you get assigned when you make a character in Stardew Valley. And if you get, like, really unlucky, you can just, like, suck at music. And this is, like, maybe, like, a lot worse. <laughs> if that is the case, if I'm not just making that up, I think that's, uh, I don't think we got that unlucky, so. Never leave home without it, exactly. Can't you, like... Hold on. Slash music. I don't. I don't know. There's like a way to like unlock some kind of some kind of music emote or something. Never heard that before. That sounds hilarious. I'm pretty sure it's like, yeah. If you get it, Elliot's piano is off tune. That's that's the one I always remember. Is that you like can't like because you when you get access to Elliot's place you can like play his piano, but like if you have like that number you just like suck at it real bad. <laughs> it's slash E music. I will try it. Decay. Let's see slash E music. Hey, there we go. Thank you, Decay, for that. Music. We got our mini harp. We unlocked it. Way to go, everybody. We did it. Okay, uh, let's go floor 40. Doing some eradication. Also wouldn't mind a Dwarf Scroll 3. Oh, hey, the Aquamarine. Anyone remember that one from the... <laughs> Anyone remember an OG Level Up Challenge original right there? Didn't get it from the Aquamarine node, but, uh... There we go. Oh! There's no worse feeling, by the way, in the no level up challenge specifically, than when you're, like, making a good run through the mines. Like, oh yeah, you've, you've gone down, you haven't gotten any excess experience or anything. And then you get caught in, like, one of those situations where you go down the ladder and you're surrounded on all sides by rocks. Worse this time because it was, like, straight-up ore, so you, there's no chance of mining it without, like, getting some experience. A very specific complaint of mine, because obviously I'm one of the few people who's been crazy enough to go through that grind, but it is a pain. You'll just have to take my word for it. <laughs> Our inventory is already full. What the heck? Just hack? I never considered that. I could just hack, I suppose. When I think of, like eradicating 500 dust sprites. That sounds like a whole lot of work, and it is, don't get me wrong. But, like, they always come in these little clusters, which makes them pretty easy. I think I think it makes it, like... Like, it sounds so much more daunting than it realistically is. Of course, I say that now, and I'm gonna go, like, check the monster eradication board, and it's gonna be like, you congratulations, you've slain 180 dust sprites. And I'm gonna be, like, real sad. <laughs> No, don't hit him with the pickaxe. I personally think, I know the pickaxe does like no damage to enemies. I think if you nail a moving target with a pickaxe in Stardew Valley, like a like that bat for instance, a very fast moving target, it should uh, one shot them every time. Because that's hard to do. Dust sprites take forever? Uh-oh. 
I've never done it before, so I, I was I was just like uh, making a conjecture that it wouldn't be so bad. Maybe it's like a lot worse than I'm thinking it is. What the heck? <laughs> Three frozen tears. Who's been crying so much? Uh, slime. Let's go check on our uh, progress here. Crap, my chest is full. 500 is a lot, yeah. You gonna go to sleep but keep watching? Alright. Have a good night's sleep, Oceana. Go join the go join the lurkers. How many we got? We have killed 162 dust sprites. It's even worse than I thought. I'm gonna cry. There are small dust sprites and also large fat dust sprites. I have noticed there's a size disc discrepancy. But big or small, dust sprites all the, are all the same in our hearts. Am I right? Might be worth it to just like do this. Just like keep on resetting the floor. Might be the play. You get fast dust sprite kills. Also the slimes don't hurt. Thick dust sprites. I didn't want to read that phrase, but uh, here we are. Because I had to read it, now you all have to suffer with me. Will I be responding to Discord DMs after the stream? Maybe not immediately after. Sometimes I usually like after the stream to like do some do a little bit of work to like get like the stream like description and title and all all that stuff set up, the VOD description. And then I usually go to bed because I'm usually kinda zonked after a stream. Any aspiring streamers out there, let me warn you right now, it's probably more exhausting than you're imagining it to be. At least for me, like for the type of streaming that I do, I know there's a lot of people out there. There's like a lot of very successful streamers who you'll tune in and like their whole their whole brand is that they're like extraordinarily good at the games they play, usually like esports professionals and stuff. So you tune in, they're not talking. They'll 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 game on stream for like 7 8 hours straight. They'll say they'll say like 10 words in that time. If you want to if you but if you want to do something like I do here where you're like uh, telling, you're making up immaculate commentary, unrivaled, unparalleled uh, bits and and stories, and therein, as you can tell by me stumbling and staggering over my words right now, it's more exhausting than you might think. By the end of a three-hour stream, I'm usually uh, down for the count. And if I ever uh, upgrade to longer streams. It's probably it will. I'll probably have to do like that's that's why I have that break screen set up, the saloon break screen. I haven't used it like a whole lot for my streams uh, so far, but if I ever do like four or five hour streams, I'm definitely taking like a like a ten minute break in between. My commentary is god tier. I think compared to like like I don't want to toot my own horn. Obviously, I do think that compared to a lot of other streamers and video makers out there. Uh, at least some of like the newer ones. I do have more of a muscle for that sort of thing for the commentary, just because I've been in this sphere for so long. Like I started my channel back in 2010, and I've been watching streamers and and LPers, let's players for those not in the know, um, ever since way back when. And that's not to say that I'm like great at it necessarily. It's I I have a certain vibe that I go for. That's not uh, not everyone's cup of tea for sure. I try to be as personable and amicable as I can, and also use big words like personable and amicable, so that people think I'm smarter than I really am. But that's just the product of like w how I grew up, basically on YouTube. It's like. I was I was watching Chugga Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun, Josh Jepson, 
Lucagen, Proton John, they're all still doing their own thing too. All the, all the best towards towards everything they're doing. K6 scope. We all uh, any of any of the originals any of the original uh <laughs> community in here. Hope scope's doing all right. Cow's crazy X0991. Never forget him. I left my freaking hoe back at the mines again. I need to stop doing that. What is impeccable or whatever you said? <laughs> what did you say? Impeccable? I have some words that, that I like very rarely use, but I love to have in my vocabulary just because like when I use them, when I get the very, very rare chance to use them, I just feel like an act like the smartest person in the universe. Like, how often do you hear the word indefatig indefatigable? And uh, for just forget the fact that I like misspoke it the first time. Or antediluvian? That's a classic right there. Antediluvian? Oh. Mwah. Might be one of my favorite words. Defenestration. Karita coming out with another classic. Anti disestablishmentarianism. That's more or less it, Barbie doll, yeah. Indefatigable. Those are ten dollar words, a hundred percent. Did I say K6 scope? I said KA6 scope. It is also known as Cossack's scope. In some circles, what the heck just happened there? Oh gosh, I'm getting frame dips. Everyone hold on, hold on! We just gotta ride it out together. How long does it take to make pickles? Goes to show how often I use preserved jars, because like obviously I didn't use much of those in the no level challenge. Timby, come back! I wanted to pet you. But I thought they were a little faster than this. It's being super laggy. Is it is the stream that has the stream like been like really laggy or is that or is it because I'm getting the occasional like little frame dip on my end in the like in the actual game. But I'm hoping the stream uh, is no more laggy than mine has been. YouTube's telling me my stream health is excellent. Radical dude. So I'm hoping that's uh, not a false claim. Just you, peaceful noob. <laughs> Fair enough, honestly. Ba boom, ba boom. Pop these bad boys in here, and you know what? I'm not even going to hold on to this. Get that trash out of my face. Streams been fine audio wise. Good to hear, Inoina. Good luck with the drawing. Um, row. Let's go ahead and leave. Let's. I think it might be time to swap out blackberries for sashimi. We've got a pretty good supply going now. So let's just let it ride. Are those tea plants like a fence? Yeah, I can't walk through them. I didn't intend it for it to be that way, like a fence right there. It's kind of annoying, but I don't want to chop them down. It's kind of the sunk cost fallacy right now. Okay, what to do today? Timbeeb, you guard the pickles with your life, please. And I'm going to go fish up some tiger trout, potentially, if they ever want to show their heads. Like, tiger trout. Like, I haven't seen a single one. This is this is the rare instance where I'm going to check the wiki myself for tiger trout. Not that I don't believe you guys. Tiger trout. 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. in fall and winter, weather any, in the river. Yeah. We're just, like, unlucky. <laughs> okay, cool. You love to see it. You hate to love to see it.
X the doubt. What do I need to do for the mysterious key again? The mysterious chi? Uh, leave a rainbow shell in the box at the train platform? We can do that. What do you know? I happen to have a rainbow shell right here. I want to go up that way to get my hoe anyway. Oh, I heard something. Was that my pickles? Hold the phone. Hold the phone. I heard a machine of some kind. Oh, it's the recycling machines. They debated me. Son of a gun. Riverfish are your least favorite? I feel you on that. They're kind of annoying. Because, like, there's no great spots to fish in the river. Two to three days for a pickle? Thank you for the intel, yo, Lizzie. Bad. Oh, on the train platform. My bad. Ah, boom. Immediately, a note falls down from the rafters above. Do you think he had that note placed there just so this at the specific frequency of a rainbow shell hitting the train platform would knock it down? Or, alternatively, and far more entertaining in my mind, do you think he was, like, hiding up in the rafters of that train platform that whole time? Waiting for me to come by? And then when he saw me come by, he, like, dropped it down and ninja guided his way out of there? I would love to see an animation of, like, a clumsy Mr. Chi, where it's like, he tries to be all cool and, like, mysterious and, like, uh, what's the word, like, vague? I'm trying to, there's a word for it. Aloof. Aloof, maybe? And, like, he's, like, trying to be this big cool guy like he is in the actual game, but he just keeps messing it up, so, like... <laughs> So he's just waiting for you at the train platform, and then you come and drop off the rainbow shell, and he's like, "This is my moment." And then the and then he hears the little k -k -k of the rafters breaking beneath him, and he's like, "Oh no!" And then he just falls right next to you. Oh no! Clumsy Mr. Chi. That's a that's a new mod. Make it happen. Last night I dreamt that my left hand had turned into a gigantic quail. Does that mean anything? I think it means, uh, you want a pet quail? I don't even know, Abigail. Anyone want a dream dictionary that one for me? I mean, anchovy for a calzone I'm making. Leia? Leia, we need the talk. This is an intervention, okay? <laughs> Fish? Calzone? No, anchovy? Calzone? Uh, look, don't knock it till you try it, I suppose. But, come on. Elliot likes this spot. Maybe we'll just, like, fish here for a little bit. She has unique tastes. It's an acquired taste, some might say. I am not leaving this spot until I fish up a tiger trout. I need to see that they it still exist. Wasn't the wasn't the frickin' name of this quest aquatic overpopulation? Where's the overpopulation, Demetrius? I think you might be uh, your data might be a little bit skewed. Want to check that bell curve again? What in the world, Leia? When I married you, I didn't expect that. Look, I can't talk about weird requests without bringing up the fact that Haley does sometimes request a super cucumber, and it's a girl's secret for for why she wants it. It's like gir for girls only. Please bring me a super cucumber. You know what it's for? XOXO Haley. Kind of sus. I do it every time, but I feel I feel kind of dirty doing it though, because like I'm not an actual girl in real life, but because I'm playing as a girl in the game, I get to see that, and I'm like, oh man, I'm kind of like violating her trust a little bit. 
Oh, because you put super cucumber you put cucumbers on your eyes. I don't think Haley got the memo that like a super cucumber is not like a cucumber cucumber, like the vegetable. The vegetable slash berry that it is. Maybe that's maybe oh maybe it's a misinformation thing. She was just mistaken. She thinks like she heard about a super cucumber one time, probably from like from like Chloe, because she's like, check it out, I got this cool super cucumber like fish fish pond here. But she didn't hear the fish part because she was like on her phone or something. You know, I mean, Queen Slay. But she's she just thinks that a super cucumber is just a better version of the regular cucumbers she uses anyway for uh, like exfoliating her eyes or whatever you call it. <laughs> Need to not fish for tiger. Okay, so this is a bad spot to fish for tiger trout. Well, I'm I'm feeling that. I'm feeling this is a smallmouth bass fishing spot. Let's try one of these. Sea cucumbers IRL are disgusting. I don't think I've ever like seen one. Can't they get like f like massive? Can't they be, like, as big as, like, skyscrapers or something? Don't they just, like, keep growing forever? Or is that a myth I concocted in my own imagination? Go Cinder Sap Forest? We haven't tried that. That's a pro That might be astute. I'll give that a shot, Lisa. But what if we get an ancient seed right here from this treasure chest? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, <laughs> sometimes you gotta try and call your shot, and if it works, it works. If it if it if it works, you've got a great dried starfish moment. That's a certified class extreme clip right there. But if it doesn't, then <laughs> you get five coal when you ask for a, for an ancient seed. Sometimes you just gotta take that L. They throw up sand and their own stomachs. How charming. Do you think there's anyone out there that has a sea cucumber as a pet? Hey, tiger trout. <laughs> this is the spot. Alright, cool. It's definitely a very hipster pet, if it is a pet. of any Belonging to anyone, but... I just, I don't know if I could see it. Welcome back, Snatcher. We are, uh, you've missed a bot, apparently. Don't, no one go to that link that that bot is trying to, what the heck is, what, don't do that. <laughs> we're just, we're just fishing tiger trouts. That is a rare bot, yeah, it's actually speaking, like, somewhat coherent, like, words. Decay, are you still here? <laughs> uh, let's see. Thank you, Decay. Willy 100% does. You think he has a sea cucumber lurking somewhere in his back room? One of his aquariums? I wouldn't be surprised, I guess. Are sea, cum sea cucumbers related in any way to gooey ducks? Does anyone... Show of hands in chat, who knows what a gooey duck is? I know of that from when I watched the Discovery Channel back in the day. There was an episode of Dirty Jobs with Mike Rowe. Where he was like a gooey duck farmer or something. I don't fully remember the details of that, but... Uh, those things are little freaks, dude. Silly little gastropods, you're telling me. That's how you know it too, Kelly? He eats one, I remember that, yeah. Hmm. 
They are a little bit, uh, like the like the the appearance of them. Like when you think of the of the words like gooey and duck, right? One one of those descriptors is probably accurate. And uh, I'll let I'll let Google be your friend in determining which one. Because <laughs> I'm it's either gooey or it's ve or it's vaguely duck like. It's not both. I'll tell you that right now. A slime plus a duck. You might think. You might think. Saw it in an episode of Top Chef a million years ago. I don't know if I've ever seen Top Chef, but my mom does watch a lot of, uh, like, baking and cooking shows. Ooh, excuse me. Competitions like that. I do remember there was, like, one season, it might have been season three of Master Chef, where, like, a blind lady won the whole thing. And that was, like, super inspiring to see. I don't remember her name, unfortunately, but, uh, big shoutouts to her. It's like a clam, but weird. It's like a clam, like a gooey duck is like a clam that didn't know when to quit. Most clams are like, I'm just gonna be here and make sand into pearls for a little while. Gooey ducks are like, that's not my style. What is Sam doing way over there? What the heck? I didn't know he came out to the cinder, cinder sap forest. Grinding some sick ollies on the, on the bridge down there, buddy. Spider rows that appear during the fall. If you get up early, you see them cover covered in dew, like little stars. That's kind of poetic. I like that. Christine Ha. That sounds right, GG. It is Christine Ha. Okay, yeah. Actually, like, one of the most talented people I've ever seen. The bridge by Joja is what you found is the most common for tiger trout. The one where you catch the angler? Or, like, the one below that? Like, the wooden bridge or the actual, like, stone bridge? Too late for tiger trout now? You're not wrong. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well, we'll hit up the saloon. Get some quick friendship points. Stone Bridge. I think I was trying that one earlier for the Tiger Trout, but we can give it another tr another go. Oh man, Quiet Night at the Saloon. Emily loves Survival Burger. She loves it. Really? I guess it is like a veggie burger, right? That makes sense for Emily. How's the community center coming along? Pretty good, actually. We haven't done much with it in this stream in particular. We did we did complete the fish farmers bundle. That's good. All crops were still waiting on that yam. Uh this, we need to get a keg for most of this stuff, so we need to wait. Quality crops is a whole another beast. Quick community center checkup. Winter foraging, obviously wait till winter. This one's almost there. We need a prob probably the one we're gonna get for this would be a blobfish, I would assume. Or may maybe an octopus. You can like catch octopus at the night market, I think. I don't fully remember, though. Uh, this one, we're still waiting on our super cucumbers. The vault. Ugh, don't remind me. <laughs> Should I go buy the 25,000 gold bundle? You get a crystallarium for it. Have I beat Junimo? Have I ever beat Junimo Kart? I have not, yo, Lizzy. I beat the first world in one of the previous streams. Like, I don't know how useful a crystallarium is right now. It might be a good idea to have one and just throw, like, a jade in there or something so that we can start farming those up for when we uh, want to get a bunch of staircases or something. Might be thinking of the Midnight Squid. You can you get that at the Night Market as well, but I think the, the Octopus is also available. Do you need to go on the submarine? I do, unfortunately. I do because, um... Because, so for those not in the know, you need to catch every fish in order to get perfection. That's that's a given. And three of those fish, the blobfish, the midnight squid, and the spook fish, are all only available via the submarine ride at the night market. 
However, you can also catch them with magic bait. The problem therein lies in the fact, let me sell my stuff real quick, that this rod here cannot use bait, the bamboo pole. So in order to use magic bait, we would have to upgrade our fishing rod to the fiberglass rod, which is, it costs 1,800 gold. Whereas one trip on the submarine ride at the night market only costs 1,000 gold. So you do, either way, we're, we're spending money on that, but you spend less money by uh, doing the submarine ride instead. It does mean we have to get all three in one go, but I don't think that's going to be that big of a concern, to be honest with you. To be completely real. Anyone hear my cat in the background there? Yo, she just like plopped out. She's so cute right now. Oh, she wants attention. It's okay, girl. You only got 45 minutes left in the stream. <laughs> She'll probably be fast asleep by that point. Kitty. Deconstruct blobfish mask. <laughs> the big brain plays from Karita. Uh, let's see. Do a little bit of farm cleanup while we're thinking about it. Did I water all my crops today? I think so. This is just unsightly right here. Let's clear this mess up right post haste. She is envious of Timbeeb. Timbeeb and Minu can coexist peacefully. I fully believe that. Minu did not like our our dog Teddy back when he was still with us. They did they did not get along. Teddy loved her. Honestly, he was like he was always trying to get like like anytime like she was like nearby. He caught like a glance of her, which was not often cuz she made it a very stern point to be like, "Yo, I'm only coming out when that dog is like fast asleep or out for a walk or something. But in the rare instances where he did glim glimpse her, he would like get up. If it, Even if he was like resting, he would like get up and like wander over and he's like, hey, it looked like he was trying to be your friend. He, or he was at the very least just like curious about her. But if he got within like six feet of her, it's all, it's, she, she pulls one of these, you know, that kind of thing, that hiss. She gets very upset. Pet the cat. Pet the cat. But I'm chopping trees. Alright, I'll pet the cat. Hold on. You can't see it, but she is here. Hi, Minyu. You can hear her, probably. Oh, such a sweet girl. You're so cute. Yes, you are. I will have to post a picture of you in my Discord so people know what you look like. There is a pet channel in the Discord for those who want to share pictures of their cats, dogs, or otherwise. All pets are welcome. And it's a great place to go if you've been having kind of like a downer day. Because you can just go there and be like, yo, I'm going to look at some cute pictures of animals real quick. It's very nice. I forgot I can actually mine these. <laughs> Man. The cat brings out brings out everyone. It brings out even some of the lurkers. Start talking about kitties. You need to get a cat cam up in here or something. Take a take a note out of Blade's book. A hundred percent top tier stream. Just went from zero to a hundred with the addition of the cat. People do love their cats. But Timbeeb, though, we respect Timbeeb. There's love in our heart for both for both cats and dogs. Cats make the internet go round. Yep, keyboard cat, certified internet classic. One of one of many many uh, internet cats, quite frankly. Traveling cart day. I shall never forget, and if I ever do, yell at me very loud in the chat. Because that cannot happen. Fish taco! Nice. I don't know where Linus is getting like the shells or tortillas or whatever he needs to make the, the tacos, but... 
Respect it. Excuse me. Thank you. There we go. That that hold the bait tip for like filling the crab pots, that is gonna save me so much time. Alright. Grab our row. Tim Beeb's chilling with the corn. Look, he's like perfectly positioned. He's 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 in the matrix right now. Yo. As a cat yourself, you would like to be petted. I don't know if I can fulfill that uh, that desire, unfortunately. Hopefully you have someone in your life that can, though. We're making all this into sashimi, I'm gonna tell you right now. Do I dare make the periwinkles into sashimi? Or would that uh, bring upon the apocalypse? I know, even though I don't have the, the periwinkle fish pond anymore, I do fear for my life in the face of those periwinkles. I feel like... Their eldritch god, whatever his name may be, he should he should who shall not be named, might smite me on the spot, make it so that I never ever find the yam from the duggies ever again. But on the other hand, that's ten sashimi just waiting to be made. You give Clinton eggplant. It seems like he would like it. I feel like that's a troll. Luca really wants me to cut those periwinkles up. You got some kind of vendetta that I don't know about. Yo, that's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> what the heck? He's sleeping in the crops. My boy. Oh. Just appreciate that for a moment. That was so sweet. Didn't I plant a freaking mahogany seed up here? What happened to that? Did I, like, destroy it by mistake? Oh, well. Do you have any other mahogany seeds? I do not. Rip. I think one of these is a mahogany tree. Yeah, this one looks mahogany-esque. It's a corn dog. Oh, dear. Alright, oh, getting little, little frame drops, little frame stutters. It's alright. It's alright. Alright, we're hanging in there. Um, I guess... Now that we know, like, a good, decent spot to fish Tiger Trout, we can just finish that off. How many more do we need? I think I only got, like, two. Yeah. Three days to go. Uh, anchovy. Leia, I'm sorry to tell you. It's not gonna happen, probably. I scythed it last stream? What the heck was I thinking? <laughs> I scythed the mahogany tree? Oops. Alright, yeah, we're heading down that way anyway for the traveling cart. Um... I could craft one mini obelisk, but one mini obelisk doesn't do you much good, does it? <laughs> It'd be a nice little decoration, maybe. What else do I want to do today? We'll, we'll, we'll start there. We'll start, start with the fishing, and then we'll see how the day progresses. Actually, maybe I should just go for... Because the tiger trout doesn't... Uh, like, this, this, this quest doesn't actually, like get me any closer to perfection. This doesn't give me any recipes. It's just going to give me money, I think. So maybe we don't worry so much about that. And instead, we focus on some eradication nation. Quick look for some supply crates, too. Do a quick round of the farm, maybe. It gives you the farm computer. We have already done the biome balance, which gave us the farm computer. So I think it's literally just a, just a sunk, like just sinking time to it for for its own sake. Chicken statue. Maybe I can just I could use this as decoration or something. That'd be fun. Periwinkles taste like cyan. I don't know why that's so funny to me. Wait for Monster Musk for the eradication goals? That's also a good idea, honestly. Hold on, though. We don't need this, don't need this, don't need this, don't need this. No, 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 no. Okay, cool. 
Thanks for nothing. I don't know, I am kind of down to wait for Monster Musk. But then at that point, what do we do with our time? <laughs> I guess I could just, like, sleep through some of the days if we don't have anything else to do. But, like, I feel like we should, like use our time as productively as possible. Goodbye, Sandra. Drop some meat in the river and the tiger trout will come to the surface. Make friends. I could go around and just, like, try and talk to everybody, I guess. Always be earning cash. Ugh. That, speaking of cash, like, I'm looking at this and I'm like... That 25,000 gold bundle's probably a, sm probably a wise investment, even if it's painful. Yam acquisition? What year am I on? This is still year one. Still full on year one, Marty. Supply crates, supply crates. Please, no. Okay. What's left for the CC? Not a whole lot, honestly. There's not a lot that's in our hands anymore. Fresh orange, though. Yeah, I'm hunting and monster eradication. That's kind of where I'm at right now. I think Monster Musk will be nice when we do get it, but I don't think it's going to be super, like, required, necessarily. There might be crates where? There's an entire southern part of the farm I haven't checked out yet. There might be crates there. I will check that out at a another point. It's too far away now, and I'm lazy. Chicken statue? Chicken, chicken statue? Excuse me. There we go. And the right click. Little little good luck charm for when we play Prayer King later. Some nice smelling sunflowers or something. Remind us of Haley. What we're doing this for. Hunt yams to open the greenhouse. I don't think like that's the thing. Yams. Like, yeah, we have to do all this to open the greenhouse. We're pretty close. We need level 6 farming for this. And then this is just, like, this is going to be the real stinker. Because we basically need level 9 farming for this in order to be able to, like, consistently get, like... Actually, we might literally need level 9. No, we don't, because we could get... Actually, oh, shoot, maybe we do. It'll be easier with level 9 farming when we get the seed maker, but... Pond quest? We're waiting on the uh, the pickles, Chaos Stripe. We got it taken care of, no worries. I can start working on the forgeables in the frozen part of the mines for the winter forging. I think I already got that taken care of as much as I can. Uh, I, you might be able to get a snow yam or something. Actually, I don't think so. I think you can only get like crystal fruit and winter roots in the mines. But winter root is not part of this uh, this one for us. Why not just use the gold star trick you used in the no XP run? Ah, uh, it's a good point. I could I could consider that if if I need to. But I don't know. I want these duggies, man. I know the burglar ring would be so nice to have, but I feel like this this is like my white whale. I need this yam, dude. Like, it should not be that hard to, to get a yam from these guys, in theory. Just duggies are so annoying to hunt, though.
Oh, there we go. What was the meta we were on for, for Dougie hunting, though? It was like floor... It was floor 10 to 15. That's right. Not 15 to 20. I got my numbers mixed up. Friendship is a good one to grind so you can get more recipes to make. That's very true, too. I'm just kind of passively earning friendship right now. We've, we've got a decent, like, supply of uh, friends here. Harvey kind of... Oof. <laughs> He's got a birthday in winter, so you know what? We'll make up for it then. Oh, my heart leaped into my throat for a second because I saw a vaguely ovaloid thing pop out of that Dougie. Not my yam. Not my yam. Oh. The fact that these dudes drop yams is... It reminds me very specifically of Mother 3. Because there's those enemies in, like, the Tasmili Woods or whatever it's called. The starting area of the game. That are, like, uh... Like, sentient yams. And they look so similar to these dudes. And then, like, when there's, like, a fire in, in the forest, they become, like, sentient cooked yams. <laughs> like, they're glazed yams, but you fight them. And it's pretty funny. Floor 11 and 13 are the best, and floor 12 is a free ladder. Yeah, that's uh, that's where we landed for, for Dougie meta. I thought I was far enough away from the explosion, but I guess cherry bombs are a little bigger than I thought. Doing really great for this far in the game. I, I always do try to, like, fast-track friendship in, in basically every run that I do, just because I like the characters. So, like, it just kind of happens naturally. And as far as, like, perfection goes, it's like... I know that's oftentimes one of the last thing people have to go for is like get friend get like full hearts with everybody. But I think that's probably gonna be like one of the first things that we end up getting as far as perfection. Oh, oh, oh yam! Get this sideways yam out of here. Is it is that's a real top right yam vegetable? A starchy tuber with lots of culinary versatility. Boom, that's fall crops done. Give me one more. One more for the road. Oh. That was that was that was invigorating, man. <laughs> See now now we run into a dilemma though. Now we have to consider do I go put this in the community center right now? Or do I hold on to it? for a seed maker, because I'm gonna need more yam. I'm gonna need at least one more yam to ship, at the very least. I'm probably gonna need more yams to make, like, glazed yams and that sort of thing, too. So it's probably best to actually hold on to this until we get level 9 farming. Please hold on. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm, what I'm feeling right now. You thought it was an ancient seed? <laughs> Nah. It's like that meme. It's the dude where he's like, he's like, whole, he's like, you just show him an ancient seed and he's like, nah. And then you show him a yam and he's like, yeah. You know that one? It's a class certified classic right there. Uh, bring me these ancient seeds. This, this. Uh, that's probably good. I think we go to the saloon to celebrate, quite honestly. What type of hat do a yam make? There's only one way to find out. Well, I mean, you could look at the wiki, but what fun is that? Hold on to it for the seed maker. You clearly have zero yam luck. That sounds like a challenge to me. Yeah, if I happen to like kill any more Duggies and get more yams that way... Then I can just use one of those to finish off a community center. But for now, since it's our only one, I think we just just let it ride. Just, just stow it away in our important things chest and forget about it. What do you say? Handling salty fish all day makes me really thirsty. I read that my brain mixed up 
these two words. So I saw handling thir thirsty fish all day makes me really salty. And I was very confused. I was like, bro. <laughs> Number one, how do you know the fish are thirsty? Can a fish get thirsty? Thinking emoji? Number two, why are you salty about it? What's this? Man, I guess Will, if there's anyone who's going to be salty about anything, it's probably Willie. Or Clint. Dyslexia activate. I do not have dyslexia, thankfully. I do. I have a friend who is who's uh who's dyslexic, and when he the way he's described it to me makes it sound like very very annoying to deal with. Man, Clint, you're just a bucket of sunshine. <laughs> Can't spell dyslexia without P and seven. <laughs> Oof. Oh, 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 artifact spot. Dang, there's, there's clay? You come into my house and disgrace me with that? Google says fish don't get thirsty. Well, Google is the foremost authority. What did people do before Google? Because, like, nowadays, you want to know anything? It's like, all right, let me just Google that. What did you have to do before? You, like, go to a library? Is that... Like a, like a real physical location where they might not even have the information you're looking for? Actually, like, we're living in the literal future? It's insane. We just guessed. <laughs> Encyclopedia Britannica. Yo, I had those. We had those at our high school. Never used it because we could just Google anything we wanted to. Oh... Uh. All our source, all our sources were Wikipedia until the teachers told us, "Hey, you can't do that anymore." And then you just use the, and then you just use the sources at the bottom of Wikipedia and be like, "Hey, these are my sources now." Which I, I mean, that's a fair way to do it, honestly. Or more often, you just don't know. I guess that's fair. Yeah, people are like, "Hey." Like, people would be wondering, like, hey, do fish ever get thirsty? And you'd be like, who cares? Just keep churning the butter. And would be like, oh, I guess that's a fair point. Uh, I kind of did want to, like, do a little, little fishing, but for no particular reason. Let me go ahead and put some stuff in my recycling machines just to clear out some of this excess chest space. Pickle's not quite done yet. Let's just do a little do a little fishing. I just like fishing, what can I say? It is technically still progress towards uh perfection because we still need to hit level 10 fishing. The Guinness Book of World Records was made to settle debates pre-internet. I loved those books so much as a kid. There there was a time in my life when I got uh where every year I would get, my parents would get me the new Guinness Book of World Record and Ripley's Believe It or Not. Some of the things in those books are actually wild. I don't know how, like, credible they are looking back on them. Probably pretty credible, but I don't know for sure. What are your skills looking like at the moment? Conkle, I got you. I will check, uh, Conkle's to the max, I should say. I'll check that in a second here. I just need to itch this fishing bug real quick. Make some pickles for Harvey. He loves them. I'll have some on standby for his birthday for sure. Oh, nice newspaper. Thank you. Uh, skills. Looking like 9 fishing, 7 combat, 7 foraging, 7 mining, and 4 with the loneliest number, farming. Big oof. Yeah, Kelly, I never actually watched the Ripley's Believe It or Not show. I only ever had the books. I didn't even realize there was a show until much, much later. I should check that out sometime. There's probably, like, clips and stuff from it on YouTube, huh?
Man, fishing at the beach farm kind of sucks. <laughs> oh, wait. I might regret my words, depending on what the heck this is. This this thing seems feisty. Could this be a super cucumber? I, would, I wouldn't be mad, honestly. Help me get the fish pond along a little bit further after that quest is done. I can't think of what else this would be. An albacore? The first albacore card didn't seem that feisty. Yeah, hey, how about that? Not too shabby. I knew there was a reason I wanted to fish. So yeah, once uh, once this quest is done, we can add you straight in, the, straight in there. Nice. You love to see it. I think it's been a pretty good day. We got some super cucumber. We got just, oh, it's yo, even better day. Good day just got even better. Cracked. All right, aged row. Uh, I probably just sell this, huh? <laughs> I could hold on to it, I guess, for like food purposes. Yo, wouldn't that be that? Wouldn't that be wild? If we made our primary food source aged super cucumber row, eating like freaking, oh my gosh, the most bougie food, you're down there mining, mining away, swiping away at the at your at your cornfields and stuff like a like a far, like a proper true blue blood farmer, and then it's like man, I'm feeling pretty hungry. You reach into your back pocket, pull out a can of super cucumber row, and just down it in one gulp. It's not even that good. 100 energy, 45 health is better than our sashimi. Friendship ended with sashimi. Super Age Super Cucumber Row is my new best friend. I'll do it. Don't think I won't. Fish bundle? We already got the fish farmer's bundle. We had enough just of the basic row. Uh, Sashimi? Get out of here. Mm, you know what? We'll hold on to it just in case. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay. Uh, add my torches to the collection. Some Joja Cola, Cola for Evelyn, inevitably. Grab this bad boy. Have your pickles and eat them too. These pickles will keep us healthy. <laughs> this pickles will keep us healthy. Sorry. Everyone say fuzzy pickles. Can I get some fuzzy pickle spam in chat? If you know, you know. Uh, no, thank you. You need the money from those row? Probably true. But it's it's kind of a cool meme though. Look at it's like nice like purple food. Fine, I'll sell it. <laughs> I might live to regret that, but I need to sell at least one at some point. All right. Good day. Got even better. Good day for the with the yam. Went to the saloon, had a fun time there. Got to talk to Abigail. Lots of to learn that Willie's very salty. Came back home, caught ourselves a super cucumber. Got our pickles on the go. Aged row. I think the only way this can get better is if we knock out a little Defector's challenge. Have a good night, James Grieve. Hopefully you're not dipping out at the perfect opportunity to miss, uh, miss Fector's challenge here. It's gonna happen one of these days. Just you wait. Everyone's favorite part of the stream has nothing to do with perfection at all, but it gets the people hyped. What can I say? Actually, it does kind of the opposite. It kind of like <laughs> everyone goes quiet in stream chat when I'm playing Journey of the Prayer King. Mostly, at least as far as I can recall, just because people like I can't, I can't even read the stream chat anyway, so it's no skin off my nose. You know what I think the the secret to Journey of the Prairie King might be? Is talking about anything but Journey of the Prairie King. If you just start rambling about something else and just, just like let your mind handle the game, it might be the that might be the play. I kinda want that, but I don't want the yeah, there we go. Like that. But I don't know what to talk about is the problem. See, once you start, once you start trying to, you you gotta like let the banter flow on its own. You can't just you can't try to force it. It doesn't work that way. Is 
This gold is not flowing very far, though. Vectors challenge hype. That's the that's the kind of that's the kind of challenge I'm here for. Forget this vector guy. Let's get some vector calculus up in this uh, up at this noise. I do vector calculus just for fun. Name that reference. That's a, that's a pretty easy one, I think. But... Similarly to fall and autumn colors, that aesthetic, like I was talking about way back at the start of the stream. Uh, Weird Al, Weird Al Yankovic. Some may say overrated. I would disagree. Say he's exactly perfectly rated. He is the cultural icon we all need but don't deserve. That's what I get for talking about Weird Al, apparently. I don't know. No, Weird Al's goaded. We're trying again. Hit me, hit me one more. Hit me with your best shot. I just got vectored. You're not. Yeah, very true. It's fine. That run was kind of like scuffed from a money standpoint. Anyway, I wasn't feeling it. Now, now I'm gonna get in the zone. Get in that mind state. Get in that flow state. You're you're the, you're the lost. You're tainted, lost. Trying to beat, trying to beat mother, and the beast all in the same run. You need that R key. You need you need to focus. You need to not run into any spiked rocks. For anyone who's never played The Binding of Isaac Repentance, this whole line of commentary makes zero sense. But whatever gets you in the flow state, you gotta get into your into your mind space, let it ride. Whatever works for you. Do you wanna talk about Ratatouille? You go for it. <laughs> that was such a good video. Yo, if you haven't seen it yet, go check out Charlie Barley's update video. She plays Journey the Prairie King, and it's the funniest thing I've ever seen. There we go. Alright, seven gold on the first level. It's a little better. It's a little bit better. I'm with you, Karita. Those spiked rocks might be one of the worst additions to the Binding of Isaac. They are so annoying. At least when you're playing as those specific characters. Like the Lost and Taint the Lost and that archetype, you know? Characters who die in one hit. No matter what. Well, almost no matter what. You got your Holy Mantles and Holy Cards, but like... Who really counts that? Come on. Ooh. <laughs> I did get that coffee, though. I snagged it by the... By this little handle of his mug, like a true gentleman. True gentle cowboy. Okay. At this rate, hopefully we'll... If, uh, we need a little more luck with our gold drops. Oh, but this could be the luck we're looking for. Ooh, it's a little spooky, a little spicy. I didn't really want to hit that, that nuke because I could have gotten some good gold or items from those guys, but maybe it was best case scenario. Walk into them, walk into them. Sometimes you got to fi fight fire with fire. Fight fire with fire. Oh, you piece. No. <laughs> you know what? Maybe we're just not feeling it today. Maybe the Prairie King... He's not in the cards for us. <gasps> Where is he? He's come home. My hootie boy. Forget everything, anything else that happened in this challenge. I love this damn stone owl. I love this owl. Let me go. We got to go find them. Bring him home. Bring him home. Spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Yo, it's on Spirits Eve too. Couldn't be more perfect. All right. I know you can screenshot and look for the owl that way, but I want I want the organic experience. Hoot hoot. Any Kapora Gabora fans in chat? That might be that might be one of the deepest cuts I've done. Not not really necessarily from the property that it's from. It's a pretty popular game, but 
the name itself might be elusive to some people. Get our row. Look, I'll, I'll, I will I will go find this owl. Mark my words. But we gotta take care of our uh, our of business first here. You know, we'll just might as well just throw this right in the preserve star. All right, get our watering done. Because if I go after this owl first and foremost, it's gonna be uh, I'm gonna totally forget about these crops. Not that I guess some of them might... I don't even need to water some of them anyway, because we're at the very end of the season here. Ocarina of Time, you got me. That's that freaking owl that nobody likes. Alright, sashimi it up. Bam, bam. You have a shirt based on Cape Horror? That's kind of cool. That's actually very cool. Okay, we're going, I should, I should bring like my axe and my scythe and stuff in case I need to break anything to find this owl. Let's keep the hoe, scythe, pickaxe, axe. The A-team, right here. I had the owl right, land right in front of your animal coop door. Didn't notice it, it was super confused why your chickens wouldn't go outside, that's really funny. Ooh. Fruit bats have been busy. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. No no wonder. What the heck? Uh, isn't this for the fodder bundle as well? We need three apples for that. So that's one down. All right, all right. Owl. Hoot, hoot. Check up here. This is a secluded little corner. Could be easy to miss up here. Where are you at? Getting kind of lucky with these like random events. We've gotten two crop fairies and a stone owl, and it's not even winter year one. Yo, there he is, front and center. We didn't even need to go looking for him. Bam! It's not clear where this came from, but it looks very fine. You're telling me, fine is an understatement. What if though we all? Oh. We might never see him, but it's kind of cool if we just, like, pop this dude down here. The Watcher. He watches. He do. He's he's our guardian. Our stone owl guardian. How do you guys feel about that? I might totally forget he even exists down here. But it seems right. It just feels right to me. What does the owl do? It looks uh, super cool. Lighthouse owl. I think if we put him down there, he might, uh, in the night, he'll call out to his brethren, and we might get even more stone owls as a result of that. It's the heretofore unknown mechanic of Stardew Valley. Only works on the beach farm. Okay. Spirits Eve. I think that'd be a fun way to end off the stream. Greg X Stone Owl. I don't know how uh, how Anna would feel about that. <laughs> Let's see. What to do until Spirits Eve? We could go fishing. Might not be the worst idea to fish up some more super cucumbers. To fill up our fish pond, to try and get, try and just like fast track that process. We got room for two more. That would take like ten days, I think, because I think they re reproduce at a rate of five. It's either that, or we could go to the mines. More lava eels. I haven't taken I haven't taken a crack at the lava eel yet this stream. We'll give it a whirl. Be careful if you break him, he might fall in the water. I didn't even think about that, Dr. Vision. He's he's there for life now. He's stuck. That stone owl is... Oh, man. What if we get another stone owl and it lands on the stone owl? Just get stacked stone owl totem pole. 
aren't super cucumbers night fish? I think they're like, yeah, they're like 2 p.m. to something. Ice pip? I believe we already caught the ice pip. Uh, yeah, this guy right here. Only caught one, but one is enough for our purposes. The fact that YouTube doesn't have a pog emote. They want stream they want streamers to make their own pog emotes, I guess. Chloe Pog. Chloe X Crobus. There's room for for Crobus and Chloe's life. I don't know. I think it might actually be like a legitimately platonic relationship with Crobus, and then like we we save save ourselves for Haley when we eventually get the get perfection and are able to buy the bouquet. Probus is just a chill dude to live with. Dropping by for the last 10 minutes of the stream. Welcome, Meg. You did miss, I don't know if you caught it just like a second ago. You got a stone owl on our farm now. He's kind of, he's kind of chill. And we're going to catch a lava eel, no sweat. Got to bide our time until Spirit's Eve starts anyway, so... Might as well. How do we call the owl? Hoot? You say hoot? Stone owl could be a good addition to the... To, like, the splash screen at the start of the stream, though. I gotta be careful with what I add to that, like, title screen at the, st at the start of the stream, because, like, if I keep adding... If I add things for every little thing that happens, I'm gonna run out of space before I frickin' know it. Does Krobus give you a star drop like a wedding candidate? He does. That is good thinking, Vice City, because that could be, like... It's, it's something that you might not even consider. But I actually, but I have looked into that, and he does, because I've, uh, I've gotten him up to 14 hearts on one of my other save files, and I got a star drop from him, so. That one I know from personal experience. Owl on the pier equals hootie in the blowfish. That is <laughs> kind of beautiful. Hootie and the, and the blowfish. Hootie and the lava eel, though? It's probably the laziest lava eel I've ever seen. Alright. Done and done. All right, what now? It's only 2 p.m. <laughs> Yo, 2 p.m. though. That means super cucumber time. Let's go catch it. This is how you know that I'm like, I've got <laughs> I'm a little I'm a little bit too like uh, big for my britches. I'm getting too cocky. I catch a lava eel, it's like, oh, that's my third one. I don't really I don't really care anymore. Ice pip, we don't need no ice pip. Now we can hold on we can actually hold on to this one now for a fish pond eventually. Lava eel first try, eat it. I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> We're not going down that rabbit hole. We're not eating the lava eel, okay? It's not happening. He's going right in here. In fact, he's going right in here. Right next to the crimson fish and everything. He's earned his place. Where's my yam? Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> I was worried that I'd done something with the yam. Eat it, please. I can't do that. <laughs> I've, I've eaten one too many lava eels. And I've, I've only eaten one lava eel, and that's already one too many. People were very upset. Rightfully so. What, ha what exactly happened with the lava eel? It's hard to even. I was in a. Fu I was in a bit of a fugue state. You know what? Let's go. Let's go do some like fancy fishing. We can't get to the beach because like we can't go through town while the festival's being set up, but we can go down to our own little pier. I was not. Yeah, I was not in my right mind when I was. Uh, <laughs> when I was during that lava eel stream, I was. I was getting all going all kinds of crazy. 
I feel this. I don't know, maybe I should fish out here? This looks more, like, distant from shore, potentially. Can you eat a lava eel? We have, we already have. Start, stop peer pressuring me. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it again. You guys go catch your own lava eel and eat it. By all means, if you want lava eels to be your main source of food, all the power to you. Not going to the secret pier? Oh, hold on though. Could it be our lucky, the, the owl can be our lucky fishing buddy? Get, get out of here. Kind of like that. Peer pressure? <laughs> I did get peer pressured, you're not wrong. Don't I have beach warp totems from a bundle? I think I do. That's actually a very, very good point. But we're here now. Mr. Hootie and the Blowfish. Unfortunately, we can't catch a Blowfish. Not in this season. Not in this economy. But a single Super Cucumber would really hit the spot. I'm just saying. One or two. Two would actually be the best. Best case scenario. Get right up to, to ten Super Cucumbers in our pond. We're chilling. You spent how many years on a beach farm and never saw this? I only noted, noticed it because I was like scouring through the wiki for like something the other day. And I, uh, I was looking over like the beach farm map. And I remembered someone in chat was like, does, does he know about the secret pier? So I'm like, alright, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I see this little cave down here. I'm like, how the heck do you get there? Yo, congrats, Zipporah. Catching that lava eel is no mean feat. No simple feat, I should say. It is a very mean feat. Always love that Stardew seems to have endless secrets. It's true. I'm sure we'll be we'll be five years down the five years after the release of Haunted Chocolatier when we've already when we've exhausted many of the secrets in that game, and someone will be like, yo, check out this new Stardew Valley secret though. And we'll be like, you're still playing Stardew Valley? Glad you're able to make a creeper pizza. Always happy to have uh, friends around to watch. Been a fairly chill stream tonight. I'm here for it. Oh, is this a super cucumber? It felt kind of feisty. It could be an albacore, I think. Nope. There we go. All right. Well, we can pro possibly go for one more. We'll still have time to make it to the festival. Right there with you, Yo Lizzy. Haunted Chocolatier is going to be awesome. Super excited. Alright, probably final cast. Maybe like one more cast after this and then we will uh, make our way back up. To the possibly best... Festival in the game. I do like Halloween. It's a great time. Spirit Eve has begun in Town Square. You don't like Halloween stuff? So sorry to tell you, Lisa. We're about to go all Halloween up in here for the for the final moments of this stream. Quickly add you to the mix. Boom, boom, boom. Ooh. Wait a second. Wait a second. 
Aw, oh, jeez, my thing is, my inventory's full. Uh, frick. It's, it's fine, we'll, we'll sort it out when we come back. I want to go to the festival. Run the maze, grab the pumpkin, and get out ASAP. Time doesn't go when you're in the festival, though, does it? It's just that we're just, we're just chilling here. I don't know, Jass. You look you look a little spooked to me. You know what? I have Marnie. I have I have had a productive fall. This is where Haley loses loses the narrative a little bit. She doesn't like the spooky stuff. It's imp it's it's fine. It's all right. It's important to have diverse interests in a relationship. Okay, we do have some stuff we actually have to buy here, like this witch rare crow. Pretty sure there's no other way to get this. Rare Crow Witch Spirits Eve Festival. You hate to see it. I need inventory space. Frick! <laughs> no room for the pumpkin. No room for the Rare Crow. I also need this jack o' lantern recipe. I gotta be able to buy. It's like they'll let me toss. I can I can just toss stuff. Surely, yeah. This is fine. This is fine. We don't need these. Even torches. I can get torched. Good thing you can toss stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's, I'm glad to see that. All right. Do we? I guess we. There's no reason not to buy these right now. We got the money for it. We're not really saving up for anything right now. I think it's time. I think I think I think let's We haven't spent any money all stream. And now we're past the time where the stream like officially ends, past that uh that hour mark, but Rare Crow. Jack. Oh lantern. Seven thousand dollars money well spent i guess <laughs> it doesn't feel that great i'll tell you that much all right let me go edit my totals you do need the rare crows for perfection because once you collect all six rare crows or eight rare crows i think you get um you get the recipe for the deluxe scarecrow and you need to craft all recipes so it's kind of a whole big stinking thing all right, uh, which rare crow right there? Where is the jack-o'-lantern recipe? Jack-o'-lantern right there. It's written in digital ink. Done, done. All right. At least we got a cool spooky rare crow now. Collect them all, two of eight. Gotta catch them all. Now let's enjoy the festival like for real. Don't get too close to the cage. I've dealt with hundreds of these guys. Don't worry about it. There's dozens of us. <laughs> Don't worry too much about it, Sebastian. One of your iridium-infused maces would make quick work of these things? Bro, gimme. I want, a, I want an iridium mace. No more pumpkin ale. Pumpkin ale, like... I don't... Like I was talking about earlier, I don't like... Uh, I don't like liquor or anything. But... Pumpkin flavored stuff, kind of great. So maybe I could give it a shot. It would probably still taste awful though. Get scared very easily. I'll leave the haunted maze to the younger people. I thought she said I'll leave the hazelnut maze. Maybe I am dyslexic. <laughs> He's got to learn to grow up sometime, Jody. That's all I'm saying. I haven't seen Maru in hours. Didn't the festival start less than an hour ago? She's trapped in a time rift. Big yikes. I have not. It's quite spooky. More more like spoopy. She definitely seems like the type that carve jack-o'-lanterns. You wear the skeleton mask, you can talk to the skeletons. Is that true? <laughs> seems like a very obscure secret. All right, everyone. Brace yourselves. It's about to get spooky up in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna go as fast as I can, but just be warned. This is a very scary maze. If you have uh, if you're sensitive to spooky things, if you're not a fan of horror movies, 
this this rivals the likes of uh of the descent so be warned oh mm. we got we got to talk to all our friends of course but it's very spooky look at these hands they're moving ah actually terrifying I don't even know what's on that TV. Is that the girl from The Grudge? What are you? Is that Shrek? Might be Shrek. These things are blinking. That's just that's just the bats from my fruit bat cave, though. Spiders? Oh, my mom is a terrible arachnophobe. <laughs> she would not be happy seeing that. Although she doesn't mind the big spiders as much. It's usually the small spiders that get to her. Just the dead end up ahead. Oh, clearly you're not trying very hard. Clearly your your head's still stuck in two dimensions, Samuel. Two bros chilling up here. The fact that they have dialogue options, like there's a little speech bubble when you hover over them, that's always bugged me. Because I'm like, what do these guys say? And I'm sure it's something you could look up on YouTube. I just never have. Hey, best of luck if you do launch a, a Twitch channel, Sam Svensson. I'm glad I could uh, help inspire you with uh, with some of my streams. That's always always been one of my big goals is to help inspire people and just make people happy. So very, very happy to hear that. I can't keep watching. It's too scary. It's all right. We got the golden pumpkin. We're out of here. We're out of here. What the heck are these, though? Spider eggs, I guess? They look like big ol' oranges. I'm not gonna lie. Don't know how I got through that. I was, you know, I was on the edge of my seat. I was white knuckle in it the whole way. I had my eyes partially closed. Linus says, good show, old friend. You telling me the wizard is the one who made that maze? <laughs> they probably say, bruh, that maze is too spooky. Yeah, they dabble in, like, witchcraft and necromancy, but Bad Maze? Too far. A step too far. Golden Pumpkin. Should I just sell this? Probably not, huh? We'll hold on to it for now. Little witchy rare crow? Don't mind if I do. Excuse you. Oh, there's a torch there. Uh, brick. That's fine for now. Save it? Yeah, I'll probably save it for, like, because it's a universally loved gift, so... Might as well save it for someone who's tricky to get a gift for, like, Pierre. At any rate... That is gonna be a stream, I think. Tim B. Oh, so cute. Alright. Last day of fall we're going into? We start winter next stream. That's gonna be cr pretty cool. Am I forgetting anything? Am I forgetting anything? No. Traveling cart is tomorrow. Oh! That's a good note to end things on. That's very good. Level 5 farming. I didn't think we'd hit that by the end of the season. Lucky us. So, every other level option has, like, every other profession choice that we've had so far has been, like, there's been a bit of a toss-up. For some of them, it's like, oh, there's pros and cons either way. This one, there's absolutely no question in my mind. We go tiller. Rancher, animal products worth 20% more. We don't get animals. This is, this is like, literally worthless. Crops worth 10% more can, can be useful for us. Moreover, when you get to the level 10 professions, these are, like, rancher leads to, like, coop master and something else that I don't care about at all. So I'm pretty sure... Tiller is the way to go, 100%. Pick Rancher. It would be the meme pick. But we're not about that. Barn Boy. Is that the other profession? Barn Boy? Alright. That will have to do it for today. First time catching you live at the very end. Oh, Shack Central. Sirius has inspired me to take my own STB challenge run. 
best of luck to you. I hope uh, hope you have fun with that. Feel free to share any progress in the Discord if you are uh, involved there. Always cool to see that sort of stuff. At any rate, thank you all for tuning into tonight's stream. If you did enjoy yourself at any point here or earlier in the stream, I don't know. I'm trying to say what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to get to the part where you like you, I tell you to click the like button and subscribe. So do that like if you want to. I I guess I'm not going to stop you if you don't. But uh, that's pretty. That's probably not what people are supposed to say when they're like making like YouTube videos and stuff, huh? You're supposed to be like, yo guys, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. So you'll be you'll 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 be here next time when I go live. Or, uh, uh, that's that's too much energy. You can't do that every video or stream. That's like not fair. People that they set an unrealistic expectation for all YouTubers. I just want to be chill and be like, yo guys, have a good night. Jump scare? I'm sorry. To anyone who was sleeping, to, <laughs> to anyone who was possibly sleeping to this uh, video, I do apologize. I, had, I put on my YouTuber voice for a second. My, my, my big YouTuber voice. <laughs> for real though, thank you all so much for coming out. I hope to see you all next time, which will be Sunday, or we'll progress into winter and see how things go there. It's going to be a very quiet season, I imagine, but we'll uh, power through it together. It'll be fun. Some new fish to catch. We're going to get pretty close to catching all of them. Oh, we got new legendary fish coming up. Glacier fish. Everyone says it's hard as hell. I'm excited. I'm very excited. Crobus? Crobus too, yeah. But for the time being, thank you all so much for joining the stream. And I will send you off with a lovely little uh, fan art compilation here. Have a good night, everybody. Peace out.